All right, so we'll go ahead and uh, no crawl. We'll just we're just picking up from where we left off uh, Sunday night. Uh, to give a quick recap, um, so earlier in the day, you guys were in the marketplace. You experienced the uh, agitator claiming that the Quarns were being treated like second class citizens. He was handing out pamphlets and trying to to rile up support for the corn in doing so somebody tossed a paint bomb at the corns um unfortunately they could not discover who did that uh and one of the security showed up the the humans got there before the the mon cow did but the mon cow were supposedly closer uh, and when the mon, the mon cow were going through the crowd to get there, they pushed a corn down, which only agitated the agitator even more. Uh, from there, you guys went to the dance club, and Colt like put on some moves. Um, Hell yeah! <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did. <laughs> he was like <laughs> oogling the the uh, the dancer in the tube, and then decided that the dance floor was where he belonged. Uh, after pissing off some people, some, you know, some ruffians at the club, um, but he was put down pretty easily and escorted out just as quickly. And then on the darker side of things, uh, a bounty hunter slash stalker slash paparazzi, whatever, decided that uh, he would take his chances on trying to apprehend the queen, but the queen that was going to have none of that. <laughs> she whipped out her whip and basically put him down before anyone else knew what was going on. Uh, and from there, you guys, you guys then went down to the shadier uh, park. Uh, trying to look for this Tortuga or this uh, Poseidon because um, he had some information perhaps about the uh, paint bomb that was used and you get down there and you do stumble into him but he ha he basically you guys interrupted some kind of uh, exchange that was going on sort of sort of didn't get off on the right foot uh, but at least nothing violent happened. And in the in the uh, time of things, um, you guys did discover that there were uh, a handful of corn, three corn, collecting crates, probably from Poseidon. Um, and they're saying that they need to get those crates back up to the hangar. And that is where we left things. So that is where... I will leave you guys. And since Marty's not here at the moment, yes, he did share with y'all. Because uh, he, while you guys were at the club, he went to uh, a warehouse that was that dealt with the shadier things and got some information. Um, so he shares with you where that warehouse is. You said that there there are crates that need to be. Yeah, uh, when when we were leaving uh, last night, these these guys up here. Um, did we talk? Did we talk to them? I don't know if. No, no. Oh, okay, uh, okay, okay. They were seen, and you were able to overhear a conversation. Oh, where they said, hey, right, 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 right. Uh, hey, we got to get these crates up to the. So. Okay, and, I got it. Yep, yep. Any other questions, concerns, comments? So just to clarify, we're heading back up to the warehouse. Well, it's up to you. I mean, that we can go there. I don't know what you guys were planning on doing. Um, I'm just I was recapping, and if I mean to me that made that would make the most perfect sense is to, hey Marty went up there last time to find out hey where's you know got some information and that was on the shadier side of things. It's kind of where my thought process was going, but you guys. You guys might have a different idea, and I'm okay with that. All right. I, uh, oh, what do you guys want to do? Do we want to track this guy with the crates? Do we want to go back? I, I think we should go back up to the uh, the warehouse, see what else we can find up there. 
Sounds like a plan. Then to the warehouse we go. Okay. Alright, so let me grab tokens. Just gonna eat three of you. Maybe. Copy. over okay so you get the address from marty uh, of this warehouse um yeah you understand this is actually relatively close to the uh, neon nightclub um in fact you can almost hear the music or at least feel the music i should say the 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 beat the uh, the base, um, as, as it's relatively close by. Um, this is the opening to uh, the warehouse. It's like this is like a little little aisle, uh, alleyway, uh, but it's large enough that where you can get some speeders uh, into it. Your Majesty, uh, you want me to take point? By all means. And she smiles and does that sort of like arm sweep gesture to like sort of point ahead. Okay, so he's going to approach the door. Okay, well, okay, so you can you can you can walk this way. Uh, there's a door here, and then uh, you can actually see sort of like oh, a wait. light coming in this way. So like way way up here, the like the garage door area is actually open. Um, Wait, so, so, so this is open? This is the door. This is like the front door to the, the warehouse. Okay. This is just a, an alleyway. Right here, this is just an alleyway. But the door okay. come over. is here. I'm going to come over here and use my... Uh, I'd like to do a mechanics check to see if I can identify, like, this type of speeder. Or, like, because this, this looks like a fancy, fancy speeder. Oh, so, yeah. oh yeah. Um, um yeah, uh, let me get the dice pool or, or maybe or underworld, whatever you think like whatever allows me oh, to Oh no, mechanics mechanics is fine because you're gonna sit there and go, Oh, it has an engine, blah blah blah, and has a bloody mm -hmm. blah you know, and all the blah blah blahs when it comes to things that I'm not, but that's okay. Um <laughs> dice pool is set. Okay. Okay. Um yeah, this is actually it's not only is it like an like a you know a, a speeder bike, it's a swoop racing bike. So Ooh. yeah, it, and this is and you can tell that this is either there's it's been through through crashes and it, the dents have been uh, beaten out of them. You know how you sort of have to like bash on the you know other side or get the suction cups to get the dents out there's you can see where it's normally like that hot rod uh red and the gold that you know the tony sparks color sort of things but you can also see where it's traded some paint with some other swoop racers uh, uh but definitely but definitely uh high-end stuff definitely faster than than most it's uh, definitely sort of thing. Okay, right what it's definitely just a, a one person bike, right? Uh yeah. This this particular one I uh I'm gonna talk to my crew and I'm gonna find out hey, uh just in case things get a little hairy, should I I mean there would be like a coupling somewhere easily accessible that I could pop out oh, yeah, right? like a sparker or something yeah it, yeah it, think of it like a, you see a motorbike i mean it basically yeah whatever you can th yeah uh what do you guys think should i should i pop one of these out just to, in case we need to make a quick dash and get a little bit of a head head start villa fifth all no 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 no. i'm saying that i would i would you pretty much tamper that. yeah oh, i would disable oh, this bike. i thought you were talking about to use it to escape but oh, okay in that case then she would uh so Dar would smile, put a hand on uh, Dax's shoulder, go, I like the way you think. 
<laughs> All right. So I'm going to roll a mechanics check, correct? We, uh, we are, and we're going to do that, and we're going to do that, and we are going to do that. Oh God. Okay. Before before I before I make the roll, uh-huh. uh, can do, can we uh, can we all do a perception check to see if we see anyone around or anyone like cameras or anything? Oh, you sure can. Which would change all that. I'm gonna that upgrade was for your mechanics check on tampering. Uh, so that's still there, but I'll, I'll allow for a perception okay. check, which was very smart for you to to think about. Can we uh, uh, roll now, or is the dice pool set? Yeah, I'm trying to think what the what I want the dice settings to be uh, we'll go we'll go that so there you go uh dice pull it set everybody can roll and okay so i'm going to like sort of combine everything uh dax is actually going to be able to see something um but i'm going to let the advantages from the other people sort of cancel out the threat so um that means we got two advantages and uh, two threats or two two successes to see that uh, if there's anybody around, uh, you don't see anything. You don't see any, like any cameras, so it it looks clear, but it's also one of those things. I'm gonna, and this is I'm using the advantages for this part. Sometimes, like drug dealers don't put security on their cars because they don't think people are stupid enough to steal their car. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I do. Yep. <laughs> yep. So, uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll leave it like that. Um, but it's, it's, yeah. I'm still, I'm still wanting to roll the dice on this. That, that's <laughs> fine. That's fine. <laughs> Literally. That, that. It's like the Hell's Angels, right? They don't ever, you know. A lot of times, they leave their key, their keys in the ignition. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. No one. <laughs> uh, all right. So dice pool is set for your little mechanics uh, fun. Okay. There we go. Look at you. He double, double tapped. So, <laughs> uh, um. Okay. So. Yeah, you're able to, uh, it's really easy. It's like right underneath here, like, you know, uh, can't, well, I can't really point to it. Um, but yeah, like there's an exposed part of the engine that you're able to, um, you know, remove a sparker or, or something along those lines. You can detach a hose or something. So it, it's, yeah, it's pretty easy. You're like going, eh, okay. Uh, and that's the successes. Now you got two advantages. What do you want to do with the two advantages? Uh, with the two advantages, I want to... So with the advantages, I think I'm going to try and make it so that I hide it really well. But okay. I know where it is. So worst case scenario, if need be, I could run up quickly and reattach it. Like just run in front of the group and reattach it. If make up an excuse, you know what I mean. If right. if need be, so I know where now, it is. Okay, let me ask you a question. Did you let's say it's like a spark plug then? Um, okay. Did you are are you holding on to the spark plug or you, did you just loosen it enough so you know it's just reattached to the cap that goes on top of the spark plug? You, you, there's no, one I'm not gonna just be it. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not dumb enough to take it with me. I, I, I <laughs> untwisted it, you know, half a turn right. so that it's not right. going to make connection. But gotcha. no, no, I'm not. I'm. I'm not keeping it in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I'm just verifying. That's all I'm doing. So, okay, that yeah, yeah it, it's perfectly, perfectly hidden. Things look hunky dory. Someone would have to do some kind of uh, mechanics check to find out what why it's not starting. That sort of thing. So, okay, perfect. Uh, and I will give, I will also give when they go to do that, there'll be a setback die. So, um, it should that happen because you, okay. you hit it well enough that you know that it's uh, that's you know, that way you were using some of the setback dies that go along with that. So, cool, cool. Um, all right, so that is done. Uh, no one seems to respond, or I mean, you know, things are just as normal okay 
I wonder I wonder how hard it would be to like hotwire this to no 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 we're all right we're all right i don't want to push the luck you know what i mean but like if i already had right. it pre-hotwired right. just in case why yeah don't, why don't we wait don't you we... you said the keys this thing was unlocked this thing was unlocked let's see if this, well, one's this one this one is i mean there's no way it's like a motorcycle i mean yeah you take the keys with you but it's not like it you can't this one might be a little bit different um but then again anakin was able to steal a air speeder with you know no trouble at all um this particular speeder looks expensive and out of place huh like this would be like you know we're talking this is like the street clubs this is like you know whatever you know uh like a, like a bentley in in the hood yeah, <laughs> yeah and well and even then, like you know it, yeah but it, it, it's something where um i wouldn't say a bentley in the hood i would say a governmental vehicle in the hood oh oh like a black Okay, uh, black, like a uh, yeah, like a SUV. Uh, like a black limo, yeah, right. SUV, but it, yeah. it has it has that governmental feel to it. Oh, it's like okay, what, oh, you know, like like there might be not plates, but you know how sometimes there's some kind of signifier that you know U.S. Department of blah blah, blah or whatever. But in this can case, I do a mechanics. A, go ahead. Oops, sorry. Yeah. Uh, uh, can I do uh, mechanics yeah, no, no. check? Yeah. Uh, let me get the dice pool set. Same thing. Um. And this is just to identify, or what are we doing here? Just to identify, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Um, there you go. Go ahead. Some somebody getting an amber alert? Yeah, an amber alert. Okay, uh, five successes. Um, to give you an idea of where I stole this picture from, that sort of gives the same uh, per, you know, perception that I was talking about. That's Bail Organa's land speeder or air speeder that you see in revenge of the sith when he comes to the temple and you know then he rescues yoda that's that same type of speeder oh, so, okay okay so it's, yeah we're talking very posh um souped up for governmental reasons or whatever um definitely worthy of a queen Oh, <laughs> just going to just going to throw it out there with the threat. Definitely worthy of a queen. And you could get uh, even though that picture only shows two, you can it actually holds four. OK. Um, nice. What do you guys what do you guys think? Should I I could uh, I mean, if it's a government vehicle, it probably it might have some sort of uh, alarm on it. But I can do a mechanics check or a computer check or something like that to try and disable it before, if there is one. You said it was worthy of a queen. Would my character have recognized it? Um. Or are you just saying like that's yeah, how go elegant ahead, go it ahead, is? No, go, go ahead and roll perception or anything, any skill that you might think that it could. I'm thinking perception, but it could be like maybe a core world, uh, you know, saying that you dealt with other dignitaries and other dignitaries have driven such things or have been driven around in such things, I should say. Uh, or if there's another, I don't know, maybe education. I I'm open to anything. Any skill that you think that yeah. would help you identify it, I'm, I guess you want to make I'll an just, argument for it. I'll just make perception and then I'm going to up you yep. to flip a light side point. Go ahead. And uh, upgrade my dice. And where is perception? Yep, yep. Here it is. Dice pool set? Yep, dice pool set. Fuck. Really? Mm -hmm. uh, the people you've interacted with, they. The color's all wrong. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but yeah, it's. You don't know. Well, I. Since I didn't get any way in from the crew, I'm going to. Sorry, guys. This is like, you know, the <laughs> one specialty to have. But I'm going to go ahead and see if there's an alarm. Fix, man. He, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I gotta break. It. I gotta break it. Yeah, go ahead. I, do it. I, I did. You. Yeah, I did grow up on the streets, but really, I'm just like, I'm like a pre preparation guy, right? Like, if we can get, if we need to make a speedy getaway, at least we'll have an option, and we'll do it in style too. So, I'm going to do a mechanics check 
to, do I have to do two separate ones to see if I disable and okay? So you're hotwire security. Or... So is that what? You, so you're you're expecting security? So you're going to uh, look around for security on it? I'm assuming that's what we're going to do the first time around. Yes. Um. Okay. So uh, dice pool is set. Um. I, I'll. I'm cool with either mechanics or computers. Whatever one makes sense for you. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, beep, beep. Yes, you find that it has a security alarm to it. <laughs> Everybody else knows you did too. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> so I say, I say, uh, let's let's try and get away from this as fast as we can. <laughs> um, uh, Colt will try to oh, open no, the door. Okay, so hold on then. Let me get things sort of squared away here. Um... Sorry, guys. <laughs> Cold is like shaking his head like... <sighs> and just gives a deep well... sigh. Because he's like... Uh, what what would be your rank on the ship? Like, if, if Colt is a captain... First mate, or... Yeah. Right, but what, what would you like to refer to him? I mean, like, uh, Colt and Dax were both in the military, but I was not in the military, so would you just call you, like, First Mate Dax? That's... Yeah, I, you can call me whatever. You can even make up a nickname. You can call me... I mean, I'd be your engineer, too, or, you know, Techie or Dax or whatever. Like, if you if you weren't in the military, you could just call me whatever you want. You know what I mean? I mean, <laughs> You're the captain. Han called Chewy. Chewy. Executive I mean, officer. They were, yeah, XO. <laughs> CO, XO. Um, Dax, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to try. Okay, so I'm going to, now that I know that there is and where it is, can I do a mechanics check to disable it? Yes. Uh, and I'm going to give you a setback dive because that noise is annoying. Go ahead. Okay. Oh, okay. So let's get okay. So yes, you're able to uh, set it off or turn it off. The threat's going to be, however you s turned it off, you broke it. You know, like you know, there's like a, a little lever or whatever, so it's actually broken off. But you succeeded yeah, you with the really triumph. Fired it. So the triumph. What do you guys want to do with that triumph? So. Uh, yeah, I'd like to use it towards hot wiring it. You know, like okay. it's gonna go I real guess. fast later. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, so this is okay. So yeah, so you turned it off, but in turn in 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 order to turn it off, <laughs> you had to sort of like break like a the the chassis or something the the molding in order to get to the right wires. But in doing so, that exposes the wires that you need to uh, hot wire um, in the future. You, you know, so like you know, you need oh, I need to expose that anyways since it's already broken. Now it, it it's going to make it easier to hot wire in the in the future. Okay. So, are you wanting to hotwire it now, or? Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. Yep. Definitely hotwire oh. it now. Okay. It okay. Probably um... has a huge muffler on it, or <laughs> reverse muffler. All yes. right. So, uh, was that with the Triumph? I'm going to give you a free upgrade on your check. Um, and we'll go there. So g give yourself an upgrade without having okay. to flip any dice. Uh, I am doing that. Um, and you're still welcome to flip a light side point. You haven't done it yet, so you can get two upgrades instead of one. If you, if you wanted to do that, you don't have to. Um, oh, yeah. So go ahead and give yourself <laughs> a second upgrade. Okay, so you're done. Four, and, four yellow. And dice pool is set. <laughs> Okay, so all I had to do for the upgrade was click on upgrade up once, right? 
right for the free one and then you'll get one again for so you should upgrade should say two hmm. okay so uh, once you have your pool set my pool is set and some more okay. yellow there we That's go amazing. you got it you, got it, you <laughs> yeah. got it started up and you got two advantages on top of that Okay, so what I'm going to do, now that I know that I can start it up, I'm just going to yeah. undo two of the wires so that it shuts off, but I'm leaving them essentially Easy staged. For... Wait. Yeah, okay. Yep. That's staged cool. I'll, I'll, with the two advantages, I'll, I'll basically, <laughs> you know, you just go tap, and it starts back up again. Okay, perfect. All right, guys, I've done enough. <laughs> well, yeah, you have. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, as you guys get to the door, <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> uh, Colt will actually turn to Sadara and say, what are we doing again? <laughs> I think what we are should... we doing again? Should we knock? <laughs> I thought the plan to rid the warehouse was your idea. <laughs> well, <laughs> we're, we're really here for information. See, uh... That is a question. Like, are 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 we here to? We're just here to find more information. That's the whole point of us even being on this planet. We were relaxing, and now we were. We were right. For... In, this, in this particular case, you guys are aware that they're going to some hangar. Um, uh, Marty's character was able to acquire information from this warehouse about less than honorable things at this location, so you're hoping maybe they can... The, the, the thought process would have been, hey, I'm going to go back to this that warehouse, see if I can talk to whoever's there to see if they can give me more information about the quarry who might be down there, where they might be hanging out, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. I know a couple of fellas. I've heard <laughs> from a couple of fellas. <laughs> <laughs> well, if that's the case, then let's, let's take a quick... Let's... Let's, uh... I guess it well, wouldn't be knocking. Before not we get knocking, too right? far, the door opens up before you guys even knock. Mm. And there is a um, a red skin corn. I'll leave him right there. Uh, with black markings all over his face. And he just, he just looks at each and every one of you. Uh -oh. Menacingly. Um, it's almost as if he's concentrating on each, as he looks at each one of you, he's sort of like concentrating for some reason. And behind him, you can see, uh, somebody dressed in, uh, regalia robes, something, somebody like who fits more as like a councilman, um, you know, not a grease monkey, not someone who should be down here, um, and and is hovering. I don't want to say closely behind him, but he is certainly staying, um, you know, relatively, relatively close uh, as the guy comes out there. Uh, so, hi. Ooh. Who and and the 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 red guy goes, looking straight uh, straight at Dax. Who's responsible? If you're asking about uh the, what's responsible for what? <laughs> By what do you mean, my good sir? Deception check. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. yeah, let's 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 do a deception check. Let me yeah. that first. Colt is a, Colt almost raises a hand to like wipe a, a his brow of sweat like oh my gosh, he didn't say who's responsible for hot wiring that car. Uh, say, before he stops his hand. I, I was gonna say for the alarm, but then I just decided <laughs> to you know the, for what? <laughs> what are we talking about again? Um, <laughs> yeah. Alright, so okay, let me get a dice pool on this one. This one will be 
Uh, I can almost imagine, uh, yeah, the guy's like, are you responsible? He's like, what you talking about? Yeah, what you talking about? <laughs> like, he just sort of, like, lowers his head, looks back and forth. What you talking about, sir? <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, we'll, we'll start there. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and flip. Oh, not again. <laughs> yeah, this, this is, you're getting dark vibes from this guy anyways. So, yeah, um, whoever... Whoever wants to throw that lie out there, and if you need to borrow, uh, like, I don't know, does Siddhartha, does she even have deception? I don't know. I know uh, she's like the face, but I don't know. Uh, she well, well, has... we're, not, we're technically not trying to deceive them yet, right? Oh, no, she's we got two yellows in deception. The question. <laughs> okay. Oh, cool. um, well, I know, because he says who's responsible, and, and you're like, well, you're, you're trying to play it off as... I don't, I don't know. know what you're talking about. Okay. <laughs> you, you know what he's talking about. But it can be <laughs> a combined check where you can use... Um... Holt has three cunning and Sadara has two ranks in cunning. So okay. you could roll... So, uh, someone can roll green. Uh, two yellow and one green um, against this. So whoever <laughs> wants to... That. You can go ahead and roll, Cody. All right, go clean little tech point. I just need direction on what to say, because like I said, I'm not good okay. at ad libbing. Like, just you guys, just <laughs> yeah. tell me like what's, uh, what what well, you want me to. Basically, the way I see it is, you're going to go. I don't know what you're talking about. We were, you know, the way I see it is, you're coming here for information. I have anything else that's going on. I, I'm, I'm. You're basically playing it down like you have. Yeah. No okay. Idea okay. What the guy's talking so about. let me just uh, roll and then I'll narrate what happens. Okay. And then I get yeah, some yeah, kind of boost. That's... Uh, I'll give you a, I'll give you a boost. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, you can you handle your own boost. So yeah, so make sure that you have your the two yellow from your deception. Um, what's your what's your uh, uh, what is that cunning cunning goes with deception? Yeah, my cunning yeah, is and... two, and I have two. Okay, yellows. then you're gonna you're gonna add a green. So up at the top, you're gonna add one green um, to accommodate for the the cunning from. Um, uh, Da uh, not yeah from Dax no from Colt, Colt I'm Colt. sorry from Colt All and right. then you'll get a boost because because uh, this will be fine an upgrade uh, boost, the upgrade you would have to use the um, you can flip another light side right yeah yep yep all right I'll do that sure why not all uh, right three we... yellows <laughs> yep so right. make sure you get the one upgrade all right. And roll, this will be All fun. Right. Alright, uh, so, uh, where's my deception? Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> what do you Usually mean? He What's doesn't that about? That. <laughs> but, so yeah, so there's no successes, so technically it's a fail. Mm -hmm. Um, but you did get an advantage, so he, he doesn't. Obviously, he doesn't. He's not buying it. But oh, does he have any visible weapons that he's like brandishing at us? Uh, not, no. yet. I'm, okay, not yet. Okay, not yet. Yeah, guys. What? Okay, but uh, sorry, to, sorry to jump in real quick, but uh, I'm going to head home right now. Yeah, so it'll take about ten, fifteen minutes or so. Okay, and I'll be there. Okay. Right. Okay. Just give me a little bit. Sure. Okay. Uh, we'll stall. Hopefully they don't die between now and then. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, but so, what can I do? With my advantage. Um. Uh, so. Okay, so. Let's see. What can we do with the advantage? Um. So can I try to do it? Uh, um. Sorry. Can, can I try? Can to I make another? <laughs> Cody. Cody. What? What's your question, Cody? I wanted to see if I could like spin th things around, use the advantage to try to turn it into a uh, like a charm check or something to like like turn the topic into like a who are you like who do i have the honor sure. of speaking to can i do that right uh let's see so i am looking so i i have handouts here so if you look on your uh your journal there's a there's a folder called handouts and then in the handouts there's a charts folder For and deception. then there's a deception check uh chart so you can there's a couple of examples you can use here um Let's see what we got. So this Ooh, says conf confidence. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. So 
you're playing. He's not believing you, but you're pretty smooth. Um, with I mean, you you got to lie down pat, so it's it's just for whatever reason he he's not believing you. Um, but uh, you'll have a boost die. Um, the next the next the whatever whatever you do next, you, you can get a boost die for. Um, yeah, that that's. Anyway, that that's one of the ideas. Um, so you, the other, you, the other thought you had was uh, something about a charm. Um, uh, let's see. To try to sort of talk him down, so he's like a less less irate. Gotcha. Well, let's go ahead. We can do that. We can roll a charm check uh, next and give you that boost die to go along with it. With it. Sure. How um, how high is your charm? Because if it's if if I mean with how much you roll on deception, it almost seemed like it would be easier to lie again if you got all those bonuses no, again right I, i've got i bet nah. i bet <laughs> yeah go ahead i've got two yells and two greens charm is my thing oh oh yeah, yeah. Oh, Char- charm, yeah. charm <laughs> touches on her presence whereas deception touches on her cunning um so yeah she she can definitely shift uh sh- shift gears and try to uh charm him um all these car metaphors. <laughs> <laughs> uh, def- definitely not. Uh, that's not me. Um, <laughs> well, uh, okay. So I know you're you're not good at ad living. So what are you? What's the charm? You're trying to just smooth things over to to make him not as hostile. Is that yeah, I'm trying to. I'm trying to uh, like diffuse the situation by changing the subject. Gotcha. And by speaking in okay, a friendly and... manner instead of like being all nervous along with the others. Okay, <laughs> uh, I'll I'll let that happen. And are you like still going to try to ask for information or anything, or are you just like trying? Hey, we're we're here. We're looking. We're looking yeah, for we some could... information. We were told to come, or I don't know, whatever. Well, I'm going to focus on at least calming them down first, and then maybe we can okay. talk. Uh, okay. So, is the dice pool set? Uh, nope. I gotta change it up a little. You shouldn't use another light side too, because I feel like this guy's really mean. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, oh shit. Yep. All right. Well, upgrade. The even things up. I right. still have a feeling you're going to come out on top here. So my dice pool is set. All right. So I will roll. Uh, do, do anything. Holy shit. <laughs> 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 okay. Um. He loves you. Obviously, he, <laughs> he's calmed down. He, he sort of recognizes you as a Zygerian. Um, so, obviously, you're not some, um, you know, two, uh, goody two-shoes Mon Cal or, uh, or anything like that. You're, you're coming from a slave you know, planet. So, obviously, you're a slaver. So oh, you know, not quite. Like, not quite. My well, rule was he doesn't know he oh. he doesn't know your specific. I'm just saying he's seen you as a Zygerian, and they are known as slavers. Oh right. So he is basing his stuff off that. Uh, you have two advantages. Um, I haven't even gotten to the triumph yet. <laughs> <laughs> so two advantages. What uh, what do you want to do with that? Let's look. Uh... So deep cover the characters cover identity is really uh makes well using this. If it doesn't make sense, it, it doesn't make sense. Uh, uh, okay. Do I have a charm out there? That's just deception. Uh, uh oh oh, grain of truth, grain of truth. Uh, the tar- character lies so convincingly that the target reveals unexpected insight into the situation at hand. But that would okay. only be for a deception check, though, correct? Well, yeah, but you know what? I, I I'll let that sort of slide. I I can figure out. I can see a way that um. There's no okay. handout for social um, checks. The only one is deception. Right. Yeah, and that's all I have. But I, I can work with that. So basically, instead of decept, instead of the person lying, he's now to the point where he sort of, oh, you're a slaver. I, I can, you know, it's if I, t- if I tell you anything, you're not going to go run to police because you're already doing something illegal. So, okay. So I got that. Um, so what he does... Uh, He's like he he relaxes a little bit. He turns back to the council member. And he goes, uh, the he looks at the councilman, uh, Dorbigny, and tells him, 
go back to the others. I'll handle this out here. Uh, you don't need to waste your time. Uh, it's important that we get all the all the uh, items set up properly before tomorrow. And uh, he goes, okay. So he leaves, and it's now just this guy. What's and the triumph? Triumph is that's again. What do you guys want from that? Well, so if you look at this, I, I I know this is deception, but we could we could turn it into this also. But the false flag operation says, you know, the character's deception is so complete that the subject is entirely fooled and unquestioningly believes the character's false identity. Right. So maybe you charmed him so much that um, we we can take that bonus where it says you don't get a deception. So charm checks she makes against the subject do not require in a post check. So maybe like maybe you fooled him so much and he took a, a shine to you, you know you got to get to the gab and everything. So now when it, maybe like we can start talking to him, maybe we can get some information out of him using that. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll do that. So he's like, come in, come in. There's we don't need uh, prying eyes to see what's going on outside. Later, come in, uh, and he ushers you into yeah. the hallway and. Uh, oh, Good job. Into here. Yeah. So, no, well, you know, hearing, I'm assuming that you're you're saying that in character. Yeah. She she just turns back, turns around, and winks at you, and then just keeps strutting along. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. So he 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 brings you up to this area up here. I mean, this is just a hallway. So, and is this uh, a couch? Uh, sure. So yeah. yeah, there you go. He'll make sure that you have uh, you can lounge about yeah. and uh. Do whatever. I will have some seats. What is this? So, uh, that is a, I'm going to say a computer terminal. So, um, yeah, so don't, don't mind what's going on out in, out in the warehouse. We, uh, have some, uh, plans that we need to address, um, a sort of, um, a welcoming party perhaps uh so yeah never mind never mind that so she would also how is, uh, how, is what? how is your evening going it is going swell it is going swell to whom do i have pleasure of speaking to uh i am known as humboldt it's very nice to meet you mr humboldt and and you are zygerian are you not i am Ah, what brings you to sanctuary? I would not expect a, a slaver to be found here. And he, and you can almost see like he is more curious to find out why why you are here rather than whatever's going on out you know out here in the warehouse. Um, she would uh, then explain. Like, let me just think. Like, I'm open to any suggestions for like a cover story. And then I can just yeah, just tell character. him. Yeah, honestly, if don't... you guys want to throw it in, go ahead. Because at this point, I'm not doing a post checks. He he yeah. will believe. Yeah, I'm sorry if this seems like meta gaming, but I did genuinely do have struggle with like trying to think on the fly. No, so... you're gonna tell oh, him. No, no, you're, you're you're fine. Okay. <laughs> yeah, tell him the truth. Just tell him we're here for some relaxation. You know, we're here. We were here from some for some well needed R and R, and um, we saw we somehow got wrapped up into the. The craziness that happened okay. outside. Um, yeah, so I'll say to him, it's like my boys and I decided to stop here for uh, for how you say R and R, uh, but we got uh, how you say enmeshed in uh, struggles above and below. We just came here in search of information. Interesting. Interesting. Maybe perhaps you would uh, be able to help us with that. Um, when you say you got enmeshed with the struggles up top um how did you i mean what i guess i should ask you what is your perception or what do you feel about what's going on uh top side i am most intrigued we were here on on vacation heading through heading to central plaza when bomb went off I'm very much intrigued to know and the cause of it. Gotcha. Uh, and so do you believe the quarns are being 
uh, discriminated against. And if you can't tell, this is now me as a GM saying, if you can't tell, humble is a corn. <laughs> well, no, so I know he's, he's a corn, but well, she would then okay. just say uh, something along the lines of like, uh, you know, like I have very minimal knowledge of of dispute between Quornan and Moncala. I cannot comment on this matter. Uh, I, if you have any light you'd like to shed on a, on the situation, because as of right now, we're just as much in the dark. It does appear that you guys, you know, that the Korans have have some issues. Yes. Yeah. It is horrible. They are treated like like they are outcasts, you know, and and it it is very uh, upsetting. You know, this this world was supposed to be uh, ran equally amongst all all members, all, all you know the the an equal division of having a voice or a say in the government, and the corn just seem to be you know despite what they say or do, they are ignored. And it is, it, it's, it's all about the Mon Calamari. They still think they are ruling, just like they do in Mon Cal, but now they're ruling here. The humans don't see it. The Twi'leks don't see it. Um, and it is, it is very upsetting. And obviously, you've seen the bomb go off. Uh, obviously, they don't want us talking, so they do all this stuff to, to, to silence us. And it, it it's horrible. How did you guys become so disparaged? Are you not represented in in your government? We well we are, uh, and that's that was Councilman uh, Dorbigny. Um, but it doesn't matter. Despite whatever, whenever he says something, it's either ignored or uh, dismissed. And it's all because of the Mon Cal. They they don't see us. They don't see us as equals. And you're hoping to change that with whatever is happening tomorrow. Uh, yes. Um, okay. And with that, I'll give you guys a chance. Let me roll his. Oh, he does have deception. No, he doesn't. All right, this will be fun. Um,. So he is trying to lie. Ah, shit. Well, I, oh, thought no, he can't, no, no. I thought he can't resist. No, no, no. He's he can't trying resist to your charm. Now thought. he is trying to protect his own motives. So he is trying to lie what's happening no. tomorrow. I, I, only, I only said that because I specifically, when I was going through my character sheet, discipline showed up twice, and I was like, yeah, this makes no sense for my character to take it. So... <laughs> but I'll give this to everybody. Everybody can. Um... Okay, who has the highest willpower? And does anybody have discipline? No discipline, two willpower. Uh, discipline. Anybody? Um, I have a point of discipline, but I have only two willpower. Okay. Okay, so we can, I can also do like a share, but at this point, it's all you. Dax, what do you have? I also have. Two willpower and just the standard two discipline. Or you have two. Oh, okay, so you just have two green in your discipline. Two green. Right. Okay. So All no. right. So his difficulty is going to be uh, Sadara's uh, discipline, which is one green, one green, one yellow, which translates to his as one purple, one, one red. So he will be rolling, but his dice pool is based on Sadara's discipline. Um, so I, I have a, a question because I yeah. I already have sort of an understanding of maybe what is about to happen tomorrow uh, okay. but if we fail this check does that mean that our characters wouldn't know um, okay look before we, before we roll tell me what you think is going to happen so I think there's going to be some sort of Demon Colt thinks that there's sort of going to be some sort of demonstration tomorrow when he said make preparations for tomorrow and like things are going to be different kind of thing. 
Well, okay. Okay. some some sort of public thing that's going to happen tomorrow that okay. is involving several shady businesses. Sure. Uh, we will let that. I, I wanted to establish that first, and then now we'll we'll go ahead and roll. Because um, he is saying, because you asked him um, what his plans are, correct? Yeah. Okay. Because that. Okay. So let me roll this to see if. Uh, he, if I can find, and Marty, I'll get you here in a second. Yeah, sure. Uh, you should have seen it, Marty. I charmed the fuck out of this guy. <laughs> um, quite literally, I'm seeing. Yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm like, oh, okay. So I think dice are pool set. Hey, okay, um, so... I'm sorry, guys, real quick. For my chat, oh. I can't get my chat window to come up again. Should I exit game and come back in? or? Uh, yeah, go ahead and do that and ignore that role because that's not the right stat. That's discipline, not deception. So ignore that role. There we go. All right. Since he doesn't have uh, deception, I'm just going to use the dice pool. Wow. That's ridiculous. Hey, still got a success. Still got a success. Um, he goes, um, so, no, this is just uh, preparing pamphlets and, and flyers and other informational uh, as, as we march on on to the the command center, so uh, now that sounds legit. I'm not going to take away. If you still have suspicions, I'm still going to give them to you. Yeah. Um, you don't. It's it's. But that's what he doesn't sound like he's lying. That's all that means. Hmm. That they're doing pamphlets and that they're going to march on the like the command center or wherever the governmental people are. If they set off a bomb, that seems kind of. Is it a bomb? It was like a protest yeah. bomb, you know. It wasn't like a. Well, either know. way, I mean that's like, like just the critical question that I need to ask here is: uh, Sardara was not around when the grenade went off, but was she told was that the called. grenade went off? Just a die grenade. Is that the one that? Um, yeah, yeah. That Elodon still has a shit on him. Um, <laughs> um, yes, I made sure that everyone knew and what we were looking for. Okay, in that case, uh, you know, trying to put two and two together. Is there any kind of role I can make to see if he was lying? Um, that's what the discipline check was for. Or not discipline. The uh, uh, deception check was for. Uh, so. No, at, at this point, you do not think that oh. he was lying. Oh, I'm sorry. Or, well, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. I would just, I would, like, kind of casually t um, toss out there, like, a, well, you know, people always say that a blaster does more talking than a pamphlet. I'm not trying to put any ideas in your head, but I'm just wondering, like, you, you, you've been ignored up to this point. What makes you think that this will be any different? How big is this, this? March that you guys are doing includes quite a fair bit of uh, of the quarren people. We have rallied uh, a large number of quarrens to 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 march. We will be heard. And I tell you what, um, because I feel like. Should be about. Um, I, I'm flipping a dark side point, but that's because his presence is really this whole this whole peace, you know, peaceful march on the on the Capitol type crap. It does not. He he does not look like the type of person who would who would do that. 
So again, he he's saying this, and it sounds like he's telling the truth. But you know, there's just something about him that that just radiates, where you can almost feel the uh, the the anger and the hatred that um, the Quarren have for the uh, Mon Cal. And do you guys, Marty, I'm not sure what all you have heard what has been done since they've gotten here. So I don't know if they need to give you a a quick sit rep of some of the things that have transpired. Right after I said um, uh, a deception check, um, everything after that. Okay. So, you know, so you're, you're aware of, of like the hot wiring of the, uh, of the air speeder and the removing of the sparker on yes. the. Okay, just wanted to make sure that you're all caught up to just, caught up speed. I just don't know which speeder that which of the speeders. Is okay, so this this speed this air speed okay. that's the one that they hot wired, and it's ready to go at a moment's notice. Mm -hmm. And then the swoop bike is what they have like disabled the spark plugs on. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm um just. Just to get some clarification so that I, I guess that we as a team can kind of figure out what we want to do going forward. What, like, we're, as a crew, what are our goals? Like, I know uh, individuals, we all have our own goals, but as a crew, are we looking for more work? Are we looking to, I know we were, we just got off a job and we're here for rest and relaxation. So, like, I, I guess what as a crew do we, what's our, what's like our yeah. crew's obligation, you know? And that is a that's that's another reason why I sort of wanted this prologue is so we could answer those types of questions. Right. Exactly. Now, now if Tyla was here, she would not be very thrilled with uh, this corn, but she's not here. I'm just if I if I was playing this, my my character would be very. She would not have liked the hot wiring. She would she would have been very uh, a, a strict rule follower. Right, and so, uh, just, my just FYI. <laughs> right, and I, I, for me, uh, you know, I'm I'm going to follow my my captain because he's the one that's going to get me around, so I can try and find my my family. Right, um, sure. But as far as this, I don't have any real dog in the fight, as because you know I I don't like the Empire, but I don't have anything against either of these two groups. But if if they feel like they're being not enslaved but downtrodden on, then you know, I mean, uh, uh, technically, so, he's not breaking any rules, you know. <laughs> right, right. No, no, yeah. Um, I would say that despite uh, he, the cults like sort of nefarious, uh, like inclinations, I guess I would say, um, he did fly for the Republic. The Mon Calamari sided with the Republic. The Corn sided with the Separatists. Um, and uh, he would be distrustful of this guy, uh, like prejudiced because he's a corn and they were separatists, and also because he, well, yeah, I know that. Um, I know they did eventually join the Republic, but it's kind of like too little, too late, or that's how he kind of sees it as. Um, and he this guy does not look like a protester and he's sometimes been in guerrilla style warfare scenarios and he knows that this guy is not the type of guy to put on a, a peaceful march so he he does not like this guy well if we're looking for credits make you know chumming up with this guy and maybe doing something for him might get Poseidon to, you know, maybe we can get him favor with Poseidon because he he's a corn too, right? So no, he's a not a. Oh, that's right, that's right. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah, sometimes the, those tokens you can't see really well, but yeah, he's a not a. Well, that we do know that there's crates in here somewhere that the the guys down in the. The lower level. You don't know is... if it's this warehouse. All you know is they they went to a, a hangar, and you came to this particular warehouse because this is where uh, Eladon uh, got information before, 
and so you you were trying to get information of okay who were those scoring down there that had the boxes uh the crates and it just so happens you know they're acting like those crates may be here okay and then Sadara, what's your what's your motivation? Uh, Sadara's motivation. So she is in exile right now, and she's just kind of focusing right. on uh, continuing her daily life as best she can. I mean, she's her world's been kind of turned upside down, uh, and I guess she's I mean, she's obviously hoping she can reclaim the throne, but she's still trying to help out however she can. Like because you know her rule was one of uh, you know like everybody deserves greatness. So she's ultimately a force of good. Okay. Uh, but being, but having actually ventured away from Zygeria, she's like, you know, kind of coming into contact with these different groups for the first time and isn't really sure which, which side to pick. Okay. Uh, so she just kind of so sees judgment to the people who have more experience with the Outer Rim. Yeah, we, so we got three on the fence. Yeah. <laughs> three <laughs> on the fence. Eladon, what do you got? Um, well... Let me think. Um, what I got is uh, the way I see it. These, so if Quarren and um, uh, Mon Calamari are fighting each other, they're not fighting the Empire, which tells me their his efforts to whatever he's protesting against the Mon Calamari is wasted, because Mon Calamari is not who they who he should be going after. That's, That's actually a good point. I mean, I, I'm i starting to kind of wonder if my character, you know, because you put that idea in my head and I'm not trying to go like, oh, wait, retro retroactively change, so hopefully it doesn't come off as that, but I'm kind of wondering if Sodara would maybe try to unite them somehow. Or does that... That would be curious. Yeah. There you go, yeah. That's why we're doing the intro game, right? So yeah. we can yep. 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 out a little bit. Yeah. yeah, get all these things in your head now, or at least, yeah. yeah. Okay. So. So. Because, I mean, she, uh, I mean after her... all, you know, with, uh, you know, slavery divided people, and she uh, did away with that, uh, and, you know, that made people happy, so. Uh, I mean, it didn't make the other Zagerians happy, but it at least made the slaves happy. <laughs> sure, sure. She's the big change. Yeah. <laughs> all right, well. Charm away. Okay, so. so yeah, um, so I can't remember where did we leave off. That he was asking what you guys are doing here. You say rest and relaxation. Um, so we got he, entangled in there. Yeah, we yeah. left with you trying oh, to lie. He tried to maybe. lie. He tried to lie, yeah. and yeah, so he succeeded with. He's marching on the uh, capital, and yeah, okay, so that's where that's where we're at. Okay, sorry, just had to get it back in my head where. Where things are. Is there? So. Do we know of the Mon Calamari leader here? Uh, no one's asked. Oh, because I'm just sort of wondering if maybe we could try to get them to negotiate terms. Um, quick question. Yes. Uh, how how far can I see when we were in that other tunnel? In, in this tunnel, like in here. It's all lit up. I mean, it's all lit up, so you can see those two other uh, speeders. Okay, so I'm going to bring up to him now that he said that. I'm going to I'm going to look at him a little questioningly, right, and say, "Well, that seemed like you had a, like a lot of. It seems like you have a lot of firepower over there for it to just be a peaceful march." We have the, we have a lot of people here. We have many pamphlets that we need to prepare. There are many people here. Do you need blasters on, on your ships for, you know, are you intending on taking those with you? Uh, I, not, it's a walk, not a, we're not using our speeders on, during a walk, but sometimes. <laughs> I look at him, I say, fair enough. <laughs> uh, something, okay, something I want to try, uh, and I'm okay. pretty much going to be just lagging in my dialogue here, but uh, she would ask is like, um. Do you know who is who is the leadership of Moncala here? Oh, uh, no, you would ask that. Of course, I don't have that NPC. Because we have not met him. Yet. Hold on. Uh, let's see. So he, 
there, basically. That, so. Well, while you're pulling that up, you should also. Uh, I'm I'm gonna ask about the leader of the corns too. Okay. Uh, that I have I have him already. Um, okay. So yeah, they they tell you that the uh, council member for the uh, Mon Calamari, his name is Brock Yura. And that's B R A C H, and then the last name is Yura Y U R A. Like this? Uh, yes. Okay. Or another way to put that is the scientific crab name is right here. So obviously, council member is Brock. Or you could just call him Mr. Krabs. <laughs> Mr. Krab. And, and they have Krabby Patties all over the place. Uh, <laughs> Do you feel me, Mr. Krabs? <laughs> and then, uh, as for the councilman for the uh, corn, um, let's see, where is his character sheet? Not there. Not there. Where'd he go? Hold on. He's somewhere. Oh, okay. Councilman, Councilman Valgaris Dorbigny is who the council member. Uh, and let me do that one. Yeah, that's what I was kind of fixing to do. Oh, uh, that's the name of the corn. That's the name of the corn. Okay. Uh, supervisor. So, um. I would then ask, uh, so, I mean, obviously I don't know that name in, in game. So I would ask, uh, Sardar would ask, uh, who is, who is your leader? Uh, uh Valgaris Dorbigny. Yeah, uh, he was, he just stepped out. He was helping with the preparations of the pamphlets. I seek an audience with him. May I speak with him, please? Um... He's awfully busy. Uh, so, I mean, like, out of character, what the hell do I do now? I got you right here. A charm check. Uh, basically, you, you you try to charm him. Oh, but I've never met uh, the councilman, please. We need to be introduced. Yeah, that. Oh All right. Um, okay. You make and a charm check. All right, so charm doesn't have to actually. Actually, you don't have to because of that triumph. Oh, okay. um, remember then no more. So yeah, so he he was putting up a defense, but you know obviously your triumph still holds true. Um, so yeah, so you you press on the matters and he goes, hold on a moment, and he disappears out here. So while he's gone and we're just talking with each other and he's yep. looking for them, I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say to the team, hey, guys, if if, uh, if he decides to take you guys, you know, anywhere else, I might make an excuse to use the, the head over here <laughs> and then circle back and see if I can find any anything on the on the uh, computer as far as a manifest or. Or uh, um, what do they call that? Where they tell you what what all's in these crates and stuff. That's the manifest. That's the yeah, manifest. Manifest. Yeah. Um, actually, go ahead and let's go ahead and do that now. You have, you have, you'll have plenty of time because he has to run out and go find where he's at. Well, anyway, so. um, in terms of uh, in response to uh, like Dax's concerns, uh, Sir Darwin said, "Not to worry, young Dax. I have planned to unite these people peacefully." All right, Queen. Well, I like to take a little bit more hands-on approach, but uh, but I don't doubt your after after the time that we spent already. I don't doubt your abilities. Okay, so I'm going uh, to do. Should I do a computer check to see if there is a password or anything on there that I can? Uh, yes. Go ahead, and I have um, wait uh, difficult. Before you do that, um, Colt is going to head over to this door uh, and take a peek inside. Okay. 
Um, while you peek inside there, yeah, there's there is um, some papers and 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 other things, uh, data pads. Uh, you know, it's it's an office like someone like you would expect for, um, you know, the office of a of a, of a warehouse. Uh, I'll, put, I'll put you just right there, so that way you can see inside. Okay. Um, he will walk over to the data pad and pick it up and start scrolling through there. See if there's any like, look at the last notifications that were on there. Sure. Uh, all right. Um, let me do his computer check first, and then uh, I'll get to yours next. Um, so the dice pool is set for your computer check. Okay. I'll say I'm going to use a light side, but I also say, "Hey, Eladon, can you keep a can you keep a lookout? Give me give me a heads up if you hear or see anyone coming." Will do. Okay, I'm going to do a computer <clears throat> check. Oh, oh damn. god. Damn. Okay, so yeah, apparently the password protection on this computer is pretty pretty solid. Um, you don't get that. Um, but you do have an advantage. So, what would you like that advantage to be? Can you say it to where nobody saw him hack into the system? Sure. Do that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay and, uh, I'm not too worried about no one seeing it, but it would be nice to know what didn't work so I can feed that to Colt. So maybe yeah, he can check I, that computer and, in there. Um, okay. and I'm hoping that a data pad is less encrypted than a computer terminal that's bolted to the wall. <laughs> uh, and indeed it is. You'll still have to roll computers to access it. Um, but go ahead and... With, uh, but I can give him a, a boost with my... Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll allow that. Yeah, so... Okay. Um, so you got a boost with yours. Uh, I know what uh, doesn't work. <laughs> and he's using another light, so make sure you get the upgrade for that. And we'll... you know what? I don't think I, I didn't use an upgrade on my last one. Not that it matters now, but I. So if I use a light side, that doesn't automatically put the upgrade on there. No, you no. So I'm going to give you okay. a light side point back since you didn't. That way, you know, I don't want you to be penalized for using a light side point than than not using it. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I didn't yesterday when I used them to, or not yesterday, Sunday when I used them to. I just assumed that it automatically did that. I didn't realize it was just a oh. tracker. <laughs> yeah. Darn no, it. No. It, it, yeah. so, okay. As I as I look over uh, um, Dax's um, shoulder, I I see all the stuff that he's trying, and so I know what not to do. Okay. Um. So I'm going to roll computers okay hold well. on so if you're hey, uh colt using a data pad trying to get into a data pad which uh, he can't make heads or tails on how to interact with the software apparently or something mm -hmm. but he does have two advantages um, um colt, so what do you want to do with those advantages so i'm thinking that it's i imagine it's sort of like a tablet where he can't manage to crack into it to open the password, but there's something on the screen that's relevant, and that's okay. what I want the two advantages to be. Um, all right, so let's say, because uh, I know how people are with computers, they don't necessarily lock the computers, um, or if they do, it might be locked, but you can see the last thing that was on the screen. Um, yeah, and it does look like a manifest yeah. of of four crates going to the Quarren Isolation League. Weren't the guys? Weren't those the guys that sided with the Separatists? Uh, indeed. Oh. Wait, did I spell Quarren wrong? Yep. No. Q U A R R E N Isolation League. Okay. Uh, so, as as Colt mentions that, I I look up wait, from wait. from about to step to uh, 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 against the terminal, and I go, these <clears throat> these boggers are saps. They're still saps. Uh, and if you call, since you brought oh. it up, uh, 
exciting with the separatists, right, you right. also remember that um, the general in charge of uh, of all that was a Carker, a Carker, Carcaradon. Yeah, car car yeah. There you go. And you saw, uh, so uh, Poseidon uh, interacting with a Carcaradon. Hmm. Uh, prior to you guys interrupting their discussions, and then when you interrupted yep. the shark, the shark boy left. Shark boy. <laughs> Even though he's not a boy by any stretch of the imagination, uh, but just throwing that out there. Wait, so the the councilman was a corn, right? Indeed. Okay. No, I, I thought the, you meant... the one that's down here helping, yes, is Cole. Okay. Uh, so Cole will relay this information to the rest of the team of being like, yeah, there's separatists here. And, and he'll he'll actually unsling his rifle <laughs> uh, and have it at the ready. Okay. Now, mind you, uh, we are... Um, past Order 66. We are three years, right? Is it about three years past Order 66? Yeah, but we haven't forgotten what the separatists are. Separatist okay, I'm just, I'm just making sure that they we understand when you say separatists now, they could be, some of them have gone into the Empire. Um, anyway, that's fine. So as long as you guys are aware, yes, there are separatists and blah, blah, blah. So, okay. Um, carry on. Okay. Um, right, kind of like Japanese holdouts. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to roll computers on this terminal. Okie dokie, let me get that set up here. Bam. Okay, and you are set. Oof. Okay. <laughs> Well, so, you get, would he you, get uh, would he get a bonus because he you said that he looked over my shoulder and he had seen? Uh, me. you gave you gave the bonus to Colt. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I took the boost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. Sorry. So, so I, I I managed to get into the computer. Yep. Uh, very easily. Oh yeah, you're like going. Oh yeah, but the since we're separatists, I bet you the password is Roger Roger. And, uh, you... and I, I, I bet it is D00KU. And I, <laughs> I type it in and I hit end to end. Poof, there it is. There, yeah. There it is. <laughs> they, still they still worship him. <laughs> um, you get in. Uh, what information are you looking for? Um, you, the, manifest. What? Yeah, the manifest. Okay, the manifest. Okay, gotcha. Um, cause I want to, I want to get all that in the way first and then I have an idea. I have an okay. idea. So I find a manifest, um, yep. but I trip an audit, like an audit flag. That's the two threats. So I got to make another computer check to, to turn off the, 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 uh, the antivirus or the, the 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 guard program that sends a message to the administrator of the system. Okay. Um, what do you think? Tell uh, two threats. I have something else for that. At this point, you, you don't see, um, but okay. I'm going to say that you're aware and you know you're on the clock. Okay. I'll put it like I, that. So, okay. If so, you want to try another computer check, I, I will allow you another computer check to, to okay. you know, but you're on the clock. <laughs> In that case, I'm going to try to make one more computer check to see if I can, can whatever it is. Okay. I'm oh, going to give no. you, oops. nope. I was going to give you a, a setback die, but I'm not going to now because you failed. So, um, me too. <laughs> so here's what happened. You're like, oh crap, something's wrong. You're about to go in further, and you notice that you're now locked out of the system. Yep. Okay. Um. Uh, yeah. And now we got some real uh, stuff going on. 
Um, Can, do I have time to run into this room and peek in? Uh, yeah, you have time to. Yeah, because uh, as far as you know, nothing's happening. Let me let me put it to you like that. All right, what what's in here? What do I see? Uh, that appears to be um a personal room. Uh, whoever is a warehouse, maybe uh, because there's a bed there. Uh, his weapon actually has a weapon that's out, so it's in the process of being cleaned. Um, the yeah, personal computer the that has a lot of Twilight pictures on it. You know, uh, I'm stash. PG, yeah, uh, PG-13. <laughs> um, yeah, so... It's probably uh, the CDO's room, so the guy that has to stay there overnight on watch. That's what I would imagine security, it is. Security guard type thing, yeah. Yeah. What do, okay, so I'm going to go in here. Do I see anything in here? Uh, this is just like office supplies. Okay. So... Uh, if, head if, there's nothing if, in there. If the terminal, <laughs> if the terminal's locked, does that mean it's locked just that one, or did it lock no. all the computers? No, this is the only computer that you know. If you haven't, I mean, you, he picked up the data pad that was in here, which was right here. There is another computer here. Okay. Um, this was like a personal computer, and you know your personal computer's not on the same network as the work computer. So okay, yeah. That all right. Um. And I will say this, um, unless this is a super huge warehouse, um, they're sure taking their time. I was just just about to say maybe we should go look for these guys. Would it? What do you guys got think? a bad feeling about this. Oh, I knew somebody was going to say that. <laughs> uh, I mean, I feel that we should just, you know, like I had asked to speak to their leader and they know where we are so if we head off then they're going to be searching for us and then we're going to think oh we were trying to trick them by saying like oh go get your leader all right guys let's go sneak around steal their shit or something like that well, we haven't stolen anything i'm, I'm just saying that as an example like you know like from their point of view that like i was just trying to punk them so that way you guys could go off and like because that's not what i'm trying well, to do at all well, I'm going to I I'm gonna just take a look around this way. Because this is still in the open hangar. We're allowed to be over here. Yeah, so I might this, just this is actually an alleyway, so yeah. um Yeah. I'm just gonna cruise around and see what because we got. Because of going. all the, the things that you've done to those, they didn't leave, but the two speeders that you saw before, they're gone. Oh son of a gun. Well, did did uh, uh, did Aladon see? Uh, so uh, I'll go. You know, I'll use my my pad and talk to him. Did you see anything in there at all? Um, like I'm uh, sorry. Whenever you okay, yeah. So yeah, so let's talk about the manifest. So you found the manifest. Um, you did see that it was going to. Uh, it was actually labeled to the councilman, um, uh, Dorbigny. So it was tension them. But like care of Corn Isolation League. Um, <laughs> let's see. So then going through there, you do see things like uh, a manifesto from uh, Chieftain uh, Nasser Ri, uh, and then Senator Tykes. Um, so there's some information from those two particular Corn. And then drive with the. Uh, and then also there are uh, numerous, numerous crates uh, labeled, uh, oh gosh, hold on, I gotta remember what the stupid thing is. Yeah. While you're looking that up, interrupt uh -huh. me whenever you find it, but uh, while you're looking that up, I come over here and I say, well, your majesty, it, it appears you don't have quite the gift of gab that you thought you did because uh, we're here by ourselves. they're gone. I and my character are both rendered kind of speechless by this. Like, I don't know what to, how to react okay. to it. Well, 
I just look at him. I look at the crew. I say, well, one good thing is we have ourselves a new set of uh, wheels, if you will. <laughs> then let's just ride. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so uh, I found what I was looking for. Um, so yeah, they were crates, uh, crates upon crates of uh, the blue shadow virus grenades. <gasps> Shit. Okay. Oh, um, no. Wait, wait, wait. Um, the Colt is going to... So after uh, Eldon relays that, uh, Colt will like run dead sprint into the warehouse and look for any of those crates. Because you said they were labeled. So he's going to look uh, for yes. any... He's gonna look for the crates. Okay. They're over there. Yep. Yep. Well, they're empty. Oh. Yeah, this one's open. So, uh... One, two, three, four, five of them, and they're all empty. They've been. Uh, he, he's out of get their... He gets on his comment. Is like, we have a huge problem. All of the crates are gone. We're gonna, we're gonna. I, you know, I don't. We can't let this happen. You know, I, I don't have any dog in the fight, but I, uh, I definitely don't want this to happen. So let's go chase these guys down. Okay. Who has, who has the biggest, who has the most power? Who has the most uh, firepower? I guess. Agility. <clears throat> I don't know, blaster or whatever. Like whatever. Who's, uh, who's... that? Would be Colt. Colt's got the okay, so... heavy blaster rifle, uh, the blaster rifle, but he's also like okay. the, the speeder guy. Yeah. All right, Captain, you take the speeder because you you might get there a little bit faster than we do. So we'll uh, here. Let me. So I make yeah, the repair, it, please. <laughs> yeah. I repair uh, this. I'm going. I'm going to hand wave that because you you you're the one who dismantled it, so you could easily put it back together. So I'm not going to have you roll to to fix it. I say. And I hotwire this. I say, Eladon, you you coming? And I uh, I come running after and um, just follow the party. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Marty, you're aware of what the blue shadow virus is, right? Uh, yeah. That um, isn't that uh, yep. Doctor Vindy's thing? Yep. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm just saying. I just know that from your your past, I was, I was just expecting you to be like, oh, more of this crap. Um, um, so, while that may be true, um, uh, the the point, of course, is that my character might not know. Okay. So um, do I know? Okay. Yes. My character? Okay. I don't know. Gotcha. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, then, um, yeah, so you hop onto the speeder. There's enough room for four people there. Uh, obviously, we got one who's going to be on the swoop bike, and then uh, one, you know, then the three of you are in the other ones. Um, I don't have a street map, so I'm not going to uh, do that. Um, Where do we think they're heading? The they said they were going towards the. Capital uh, building, right? Capital yep. building? Yep, yep. yep. All right. Uh, Colt will, like, sort of rev the engine, will really enjoy the sound that it makes, and then will just fly off. Okay. <laughs> like, uh, no thing or anything, just shoo! This is just so, going to be an average check, but I'm going to have you roll planetary, uh, piloting planetary. Not, pl yeah, planetary. This is like getting on a Ducati. If you haven't, if you haven't been, you know, if, if you're new to motorcycles, you got a lot of power <laughs> yeah. in that engine. Yeah, and he is trying to get there as What's fast that? as possible. <laughs> yeah, that, that's. Um, <laughs> go ahead. So, uh, can I do a perception check? You can go ahead and roll if you want, but can I do a perception check to see if there's, you know, how warehouses and things like that. Will usually have, especially on in like a on a base or something like that in a building or whatever, the they might have like um like terminals where you can contact you know base police or security or anything like that. Um, you know, not in this particular warehouse, but out here on in like um when you get out to the main uh, thoroughfare, um 
Yeah, there's every so often you can find the police box or whatever, uh, some okay. kind of uh, terminal. Well, I would, since I don't want to waste a lot of time, I would like to go in there and um, they can't see me, right? They wouldn't know that it's me. Uh, uh, the police or who? The police, yeah. Is it more of just um, like, a, like a phone or would they actually physically see me? No, it would have... It, like if it's the the ones the phones that I've seen when I've seen um, that I saw on like Coruscant, it was actually a, a face to face terminal, like a uh, type thing. All right. Maybe and oh. uh, yeah, you the, the swoop is way too powerful for you. So um, I'm going to say you flip it, but you did get an advantage. So maybe you um, you don't crack. But uh, you still have one advantage to to um, to do with whatever you wish. But yeah, so, this is a very powerful bike. Is it is it trash now? Is it... No, 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 no. Uh, oh. I'm not going to say. It. I'm, especially since you got the advantage, I'm not going to say that it's trash. Uh... You still have an advantage that you could do, but it's a wow. So, I'm surprised so... that you didn't. Get yeah. It. <laughs> Uh, I didn't think I would need a destiny point to fly when he's a pilot. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, um. Why you, you think about that? I would still like to use one of those. Those I because before I was gonna try and save. Yeah, I was gonna try and save time and not if you know had they not seen my face, I would have said uh -huh. something like, "I I put a bomb in the capital," you know, to try and. Uh, I but see. yeah, but since they can see that it's me, I don't want to cause any confusion, right? So I'll just say there is a bomb in the capital. You should or evacuate the capital now. I, ha you know, somebody played, somebody put a bomb there, and if that raises a little suspicion towards me later, then so be it. But like, so you know, whatever. So at least you're learning. Uh, um, okay, so let's see how well they believe you. Give me a ne negotiation check. Um, can I boost they're them? Gonna be yeah, or if you want to, if you want to be the, because your negotiation yeah. skills and are probably and you're better. faster than me, yeah. So, yeah. um, all right, I'm trying to think. Okay, so that's whoever you're talking to. Um, the dice pool set. Do I get any kind of boost uh, for you? Uh, I'll give you an assist from um, uh, Dak. So yeah, uh, I'll give you a blue die. Okay, blue die. So I shall roll negotiation. And then yeah, if you want to use a light side point. Um, how many do we have left? Two. Two and two. two. Uh, oh wait, Eldon didn't roll. Cause he just what? joined in. What? Or did you are? Yes. Oh, he I'm did sorry. not roll. So yeah, Eldon, you can roll a destiny die if you wish. Yes. Hopefully it's like. To add a fifth. Okay, roll destiny. Yep. Oh, Thank you. Shot. All right. Uh, well, I will use a light side point. Uh, Things a lot cool. Actually, uh, <laughs> actually, no, I won't. Um, okay. So I'll just roll okay. negotiation. Yep, yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there yeah, we go. So, and you said don't uh, have, obviously... have gift of gab. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So, yeah, so obviously they, they take your warning. Uh, you give them all the information that you've acquired down here. Um, and they they certainly appreciate that, especially given that there was a bomb that went off earlier. Um, so, yeah, so things are high, and you still have two advantage on top of that in regards to this conversation or whatever. Uh, um, I, have so a, would you like? I have a suggestion. Let's hear it. Okay. Um, you know how uh, you could have them sort of put up traffic restrictions, like uh, towards the capital, to try to slow slow down the quarren, uh, in order for Colt to sort of catch up. <clears throat> uh, if that makes any sense, like putting up road, I I, I know that roadblocks don't exactly work with Star Wars. Uh, uh, landscapers. Yeah, you really can't lay down sp uh, speed traps. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but something they would have something like that. Uh, for, yeah, I'm sure they would have like ion 
a, like an ion field. Sort of like, you remember, like in Attack of the Clones where they fly through the power couplings or whatever? I'm sure they could do something like that, too, as well, set that up around. Um, so, yeah, I'm, with the two advantages, I'm going to say they're able to um, – you, you give them a heads up that to expect, you know, them to be on speeders, and they'll put up, you know, ion speed traps. Uh, with with that in mind, uh, can Colt make another piloting check to try to catch up? Lost <laughs> <Awesome>. time. <laughs> You're way faster uh, than us. I don't think that you're, you know. Oh, you mean yeah. on them? Okay, on them. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and yeah, go ahead and roll. Let me adjust. Um... I'm I'm sure that they've gained some ground by now. So oh yeah. It's hey, this more is. Difficult. What did you roll last time? Hold on, so let me... Two failures. Yep. Yep. Go ahead. <laughs> Flipping the light side. Yep, yep. This better for yes. work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. So you, oh yeah, you. Before you, you, you just weren't expecting that that sudden that sudden jerk, you know, like when when you're on those things and it's like, whoa, and it got away from you. But th this time you're like, well, okay, now I know what I'm doing. I ain't, I ain't stupid. Hold on. And uh, yeah, so you're able to go and. Uh, since since you don't know where they're at at the moment, I'm not gonna. There's not there's not any kind of chase involved because you're just trying to quickly get to uh, the Capitol building. Um, where was that? I mean, that's that's somewhere. Don't get me wrong, but um, uh, okay. And then what are the what are the other three doing? We're following suit in the in the okay. speeder. But you're not going to – obviously, you're not going to hit the same speeds that he is. Um, so he's going right. to get to the uh, – okay, so let me – boom, 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 boom. Okay. Time for a really cinematic scene. somebody from this particular map because he's not there. Turned upside down. That's what I'm missing. Star Wars music. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't I don't do the I don't do the music, so I'm sorry. Oh no 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 I, I have it on I have a playlist on Spotify. I just okay. forgot that uh I forgot to turn it on. Oh why oh, Jesus Sorry, that was really uh, loud. I am going to take a like a recess. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. I I need to take a potty break myself. So. Yeah, me too. Okay. Uh, pick you up there. All right, give me a couple seconds here. Okay, so you're like heading off, and you're hoping maybe you to catch up with them, and, and you're zipping through people. I mean, it's like boom, boom. You know, you. You even get to this turn where you got a bank, and you end up banking up up the side of the wall of the one of the buildings, and and around the traffic, that sort of thing, because loops are just so freaking cool. Um, yeah. <laughs> there's a reason why I have that token. I have a I have a swoop racer in another campaign, uh, and that that's actually her her swoop bike. But anyways, um, and you don't. You don't see them. You don't see them anywhere. So um, you're not sure where they went to after that they left. But yeah, you guys are able to get to the uh, Capitol building um, relatively easy. So uh, I'm assuming these are this this picture is a little ambiguous, but um, these are all separate buildings. Uh, uh, I'm not saying the new map. Huh? I'm not saying the new map. Yeah. Oh, because I'm stupid and forgot to move the players or that player ribbon. So here I am looking at it. Duh. Okay, so uh, this building to the right is the capital building or to the left? Um, 
this technically, these are all the capital buildings. They're, it's like they're smaller buildings, but they all are on one campus. I mean, like, you know, security's here. Uh, senator offices here, so I mean, I'm just I just try to get you right where, um, you know, you get the police headquarters here, currency exchange here. Uh, so I I want to do a perception check, not you know, sure. just from being being from a, a CD place. I know that. When bad things go down, it's usually done via the the sewers, right? So I just wanted to do a perception check to see if there's any, like, underground means in the area. Okay, gotcha. Um, so, yes, uh, go ahead and roll me. Okay, I got the uh, dice set. Okay. Okay. Um, there's a fountain over here. And there's probably piping and I don't want to say sewers, but obviously there has to be some kind of uh, um, East. piping. Yeah, plumbing. Have to get to. Yeah. Okay. Um, say, hey, Queen, or does anyone want to go? I'll, I'll toss it out there then. Uh, does anyone want to go talk to security and see if they've seen anything? Let them make sure that they're aware of the situation. Everyone seems pretty calm here, considering that they, the the gravity of the information that we just told them. You're all right. We must warn them. Uh, so the so I I have a question. Um, the two places that we thought that they might have gone were the Capitol or the hangar, right? Possibly, yes. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Uh, then. Uh, Seeing that you guys said that you guys said you wanted to go to the Capitol building, so that's where I took you. Okay, that's fair. Uh, well, I think that Colt, not seeing any imminent danger, will think that they're still gearing up over at the hangar, and so he's actually going to go over there. Uh, a little slower this time. Uh, do you have the address of the hangar? Uh. No, but that's probably something he can find out in the Capitol building. Okay. So, like, uh, how would, would you that find be like, in the... Would that be, like, flight terminal, or... Uh, yeah, the... Well, this, there's not a uh, flight terminal here. Well, I'm I'm gonna head over here and talk to security. Then maybe okay. whenever I tell them, um, so I come over here. I and this, see this and this guy. Yep. Yeah, the most official. I let him. You know, I I I say, have you guys been? Have we we called your security? We gave him we gave him a heads up about a possible imminent terrorist attack. I'm wondering, like, have you guys seen anything? Heard anything? Oh, okay. That's what you. Uh, yes, we have doubled our patrols. Um, we we definitely appreciate the heads up. How how did you uncover this information? I'm, I'm gonna tell him. Uh, I'm gonna. What if I? Oh, um, sir, we don't have a whole lot of time. I can get into the details, but we we came across a, a group of. Um. Corins, who we think were were part of the attack this morning, um, we just we saw we saw some empty crates that had this writing on it. Um, we're really trying to figure out. We're trying to get to the bottom of this, and we don't have a whole lot of time to get down with it. Can you give us directions to the hangar bay? We think that might be another possible attack for them. Hmm. There are many hangars. Um, we accept many ships here. Uh, which you hangar bay? Whatever your largest one is, the one that would probably cause the most damage for someone who ask, is looking ask to do that. Dignitary came down. Oh, there you go. Okay. Queen, you want to take um, this one to maybe you can talk him into telling, being a little bit more forward with the information. Okay. Um, okay. I'm watching people go. Uh, 
I'll, yeah, he goes, that's probably the one on the roof then. That's probably where we accept the, the most largest ships. Uh, can we get directions to that? Uh, head out to the main public area and then take the turbo lift up. And that will lead you to the to the roof. Thank you. Turbo and you had to fly. You had to fly very close to the. Um, you know, you can easily walk to the turbo lifts from where you're where you're at right now. Would there be any way to get the swoop bike up there? Um. <laughs> Be like dri- no. be like riding it through sidewalks. You you could. Uh, Colt feels that this is a matter of grave importance, and doing <laughs> doing types doing this type of thing on a daily on a daily basis when he was fighting for the Republic doesn't think anything of it. He he knows where his target is going to be. He knows how to get there, so he's gonna go there or try to get there without dying. I okay. As he's driving past, I'm gonna yell, "It's faster to walk!" But he obviously doesn't hear me because it, it's <laughs> so while uh, while he's trying to ride that, and I don't know if this is if this is right, but uh, how crowded are the streets? Well, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have him roll his piloting check to like weave in and out of people so he doesn't hit anybody. Um, I'm gonna say that's that type of check. Um, uh, do you guys think that I should take the big car or the fast car? I'm gonna the fast one if you're doing it through sidewalks. (laughs) Yeah, I was gonna say you're not getting the the uh, politician speeder. That one's not going. You okay. Can, I'll let you take the swoop bike because you can nav- you, you, you can at least go up in and out of tra- people. All right. Just no, clear. no upgrade this time. Yeah. That's... Wow. <sighs> okay. So you, yeah, you you Thanks, managed yeah. to to. Okay, so that means you're going to get there first before the other people. Just saying. So. Um... I bet there's a bunch of people are just diving out of the way. Yep. Uh, it's okay, it's so what I'm, you I'm... see in every action movie when um, you have all the stunt doubles who know exactly how to jump out of the way of a moving car, <laughs> and it lo- it looks just like that. Okay, so let me copy. Okay, and I'm about to set up. All right, now this is not going to be the scale, unfortunately. So, um, because I got to shrink everybody down a little bit. I just like this map with the rooftop. So I was like, going cool, but it's not the right size. So. You're going to get there first. Um, the other people are walking, so they I'm going to put them in the other turbo lift. Oh. And then let me get my people. Let my people go. Uh, where are they at? <laughs> Cameron was in Egypt's land. (laughs) (laughs) All right, so they are. What you did? Come over here. Maybe. (sighs) Get out of here.
send it over here. Wait, that's wrong. Is that the right one? Yeah, okay. So. Oh. <laughs> oh. Colt, I'm definitely not trying to tell you how to play your character by any means. But it seems like you really wanted to make it cinemagra or cin cinematic. Cin cinematic, thank you. I don't know what I was trying to say. Cinemagraphic. <laughs> cinematic. Uh, if you're going to do that, you should definitely Go try, the and, well, try and knock him off by jumping off the speeder. Yeah, that guy on the far side. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, this, this drive guy, it right at him. And, no, no. Like this three of them. Yeah, see if you can drive straight to that guy and knock him off via the, or whoever whoever looks like they they're the, the big meanest. bat. Yeah, I guess you probably can't get past. Okay. Probably this ninja uh, dude right here. Whoever like you, I guess he would be the only one that you could because, I think that this down here is like the the roof. You wouldn't be able to knock any of these other guys off. So there's three quarns over here. There's four quarns here. And then there's the, the red dude uh, all by himself right there. Uh, uh, so how much of this does Colt see? Like, what's what's the range oh, of it? Oh, it's clear visibility. So you can see whatever. Um, oh, wow. That's and... Okay, so I'm going to say, because this map's a little bit off, 20 feet is going to be short range, so this is medium range. Uh, is everyone within medium range right now? Uh, medium range. No. Uh, medium, I would say this is long range-ish. Yeah, so uh, medium, long, long. And this is all... So every 20... Go ahead. Go ahead, sorry about that. Yeah, I, I'm going to go every 20 feet is the uh, a shift in uh, range range bands. Like I said, this this map is a little bit off. It could so this is all solid here in the middle, right? So if he wanted to take that speeder and go right across here, correct? He this is open. Um, let me right. draw here. I so guess. yeah, this part's open. But yes, he any any place where you see concrete or dirt steel or whatever. Um, yeah, this is all this is all solid. He could. I, I'm not going to say how sturdy it is, but yes, it is solid. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> uh, just mean, just an just an idea, Colt. If you wanted to do one of those, you know, drive it into the crowd, dive off <laughs> with his gun ready and start shooting. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, well, first, uh, as soon as Colt like. Uh, he like I, I like to think that he in order to get here he zoomed up the did he have to actually go through the triple lifts? Well, and that's that's the thing. Uh, how did you get your bike up here, or did you leave your bike down in the, on the lower floors and then he definitely take the took turbo his up? bike? He took okay, his so bike. that means then you took it into the lift, and then it's just sitting there idle as you're waiting for the turbo lift. Like to... like moving a bike. Like an <laughs> yeah, like walking so a bike. Then you come out. Uh, I'll give you a free action before we we go into initiative. So you come out of the turbo lift with your bike, and what are you doing? Well, first I want to see. So it's clear visibility. Are yep. are all of these guys carrying weapons? Uh yes. Uh, do I see like? Uh, let me take that back. This guy back here, he has not brandished any weapons yet. Okay. Uh, uh, so clearly these guys are not good. Uh, so... Hmm. Actually looking something up. Because I don't know if you'll allow this. Uh, <laughs> I want to take the uh, evasive maneuvers. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
which basically, well, I, I would need to know how fast this thing goes. It does it go faster than speed? Well, at 3? this point, you're going, you're coming out of the um, turbo lift. Uh, it can go. Let's see what I believe there should be a swoop. Uh... I'm in the elevator. I'm gonna draw my blaster while you're looking that up. That's fine. Uh, let's see. RPG should be somewhere. It should be a. <laughs> oh, I was thinking. What if you? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. You're fine. I was thinking, what if you? <laughs> What if you did, like, we're just as racist as everyone else on this. I guess we we saw that they have blasters now, right? But before you asked that, I was like, yeah, drive it into them. Just a bunch of <laughs> people enjoying a sunny afternoon. <laughs> <You know? laughs> uh, speed is two. Two? Yep. Uh, I was going to try to do, like, a uh, driving gun kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, but I guess I can't do that. Um, hmm. He, uh, I don't know. Um, so the, uh, this, are the white tiles like raised and the green is recessed? Uh, yeah, so the whites are actually like triangles that are pointing up. They're they're the solar power ones, um, and the the next ones down are actually this white thing can move. You see how there's like a gap? You know, um, these things could actually move, and that's a, there's another layer down beneath there. Um, but those are flat in in this. So this in, in so... this area, this, this these are flat. Um, like you know, the it's they the same point level down. They, this, they probably right? point down, whereas these are pointing up. Wait, so um, is it the same level as the the brown? So like, what uh, I want to okay, do. So this is like um, here. So I'll do it like this. Um, let me get a color that actually stands out. Okay, so you have the brown or the concrete that you're on right now. Uh, these triangle things up like this, and th this is actually a gap where um, these come down, and then like it's like this underneath. So this is actually this is actually a hole. So you could actually fall in that. It's only it's only like a uh, a five foot drop, but it's still. Th does that make sense? What I'm talking about? Uh. So Sort of. What I what I was thinking was, could I could I pilot the speeder into this area and be able to like draw my blaster and fire at one group while getting cover from the other two, like uh, right here on the edge. You would have to drop down. So you so yeah. So if you took your speeder bike over here, you could easily drop down. It would it would drop down because it would. Bike with a wheel into here, and then you have your little speeder bike thing going on. Um, and so then, yeah, you could get cover. Um, but it's gonna be it's gonna be a maneuver to get there, and um, then to either, then you're going to either then spend um, strain to draw your weapon. Um. But to move, yeah, if you move there, you can get cover after the move. So yeah, you could you could do that. So you could basically drive your bike there, drop in the hole to take cover and draw your weapon and take two strain. Um. Hmm. Well, now that I'm lo looking back at his character sheet, uh, it's got point blank. So I'm thinking that instead of doing all this fancy cover and stuff. He pilots the speeder straight into this group of three and just fires. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll I'll take the two strain. Okay, so you're driving there um, with a speed of two. Um, Can I get the short? Do you, Do you have punch it? 
because if not, you gotta go speed of one first before you can get to speed two. Uh, I don't have punch it, but speed okay. one. How much would speed one get me? Get you one. You, you get you the twenty feet. That would put me in short range. Yep. All right. Well, then that's what he'll do, and he'll draw his weapon, I guess. Okay. So I'll, I'll take. Go ahead and move that. And then, then what we'll do? We'll do one round of combat, and then uh, the other people will then show up. So just uh, uh, let me clear the table. Clear. Okay, so let me get everybody. So I need one more sheet. Come on, people. All right, so NPC. Uh, they weren't expecting you, so that's one. Are we rolling now? Yeah, go, roll initiative. Uh, make your move, and you got your draw, and but then uh, roll initiative. And we can roll cool, correct? Uh, yeah. Since you, since since this was his plan, he can roll cool. Okay. Uh, well, wow. he or it the rest matter, of us? I guess for me. Um, uh, all of you guys, but I'm going to give him one round first before you guys get up oh. there to roll. So you'll add your, um, and if you've already added it, that's fine. But there's only only one PC is going to act on this first round. If that makes sense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. You guys technically aren't there yet, so um, so everybody roll, everybody roll, and then we'll ju I'll just we'll get the one the highest PC slot can can be for whoever, uh, because holy cow, some NPCs really did. Do we got everybody? One, two, three. Um, okay, so are you still out there? With me? No. Yeah, have you rolled yet? I I did. Okay, I don't. I, I'm. I haven't looked at to see who's rolled. So we got one. Yep. Oh, you rolled. Oh, you rolled cool. You didn't roll initiative. Cool. Ah, that's why he didn't show up. You gotta roll initiative. Cool. Uh, in the combat tab. That is why. Okay. So I'm sitting here going. I only see three PC slots. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Uh, let me get people set. All right. Well, um, you get first go. He gets two, correct? Huh? It, it, he would go, and then it starts, right? All right. Well, he, yeah. So technically, he got. Um, let me... Surprise round. Technically, he, he got to. Oh. He got to here, and then the initiative happened. So yeah, now it's his turn to go again. <laughs> yeah. So, so oh, yeah, wait, wait, he wait. jump on. Um. So. So I'm gonna go, and then initiative starts. No. Okay. So technically, yes. Yeah, so you you come out of the turbo lift, and you're able to go the 20 feet before anybody can react. That's sort of like a surprise round. Um, but I still... initiative. Okay. Roll initiative. Now, now you go because you're first on the list. Okay. Uh, so would I have had to take strain from that? Well, because you got to, you got to because you pulled your weapon. Yeah, uh, but but if if that's going to be like a round, then I would downgrade my action. But, to but you wouldn't you wouldn't have known that because of the fact that. Um, what if you would have gone? What if no PC would have gone first? What if the uh, well, NPC first? I, I thought I was. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying. I just thought I was getting an action, so I was gonna like shoot. Oh. Okay. Well, ten, uh, yeah. Technically, you could shoot. You, you could fire before initiative. So, uh, so yeah. On your surprise round, go ahead and uh, fire. Let me get the dice pool. Set that's short range, um, and they don't have any cover. Fire away. 
Ooh, nice. Okay, so add to crit. Oh yeah, it is. All right, so definitely <laughs> one of them's already gone. So that we. Know. Um, I or... add one one point of damage for point blank. So. Okay, so it's eleven. Um. Uh, okay. <laughs> You know what? I'm going to make the cinematic. Um, whatever crates they have. Um, well, they got they got soak. Hold on, let me see what their soak is. But I'm thinking I want to make this cinematic. What's their soak? Oh crap. Um, um, okay, so for Dax, the question: Why you know it's a credit? Um, you see how his blaster rifle has a critical of three? When you oh, roll okay. three advantages, that gives you a crit. Okay. Now, um, these guys are minions, so you really can't roll a critical injury for them. Um, they just when you when you deliver a critical injury to a minion, it's like an auto kill for one of those minions. Okay. So that's that's what's going on there. Got it. Is that an actual rule? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, noted. Yep. So, uh, and that's all for means. Um, yeah, you can't crit them. You you just basically wipe their their nobodies. Um, but you know, uh, they got so, so what eleven points of damage. Um, I feel like being. I, I'm going to be cinematic here. So, understand. You probably would have only killed two people, uh, two of the minions, uh, with your with your blast. But I'm going to say you hit whatever crates they had, causing the crates to explode, killing all three. Does that mean that chemicals are released and they're like no, flying? no, no, no? Because not everything is those. But okay. that way. Um, okay. Dang, animal. That's before we even get there. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so uh, he he zooms out of the turbo lift. Uh, yeah. So now, so that's your surprise round. Surprise! And you kill those three. So and now we're at the beginning of the round. <laughs> uh. So can I go first? <laughs> they they aren't there yet. Then I'll they'll go be first. there next round. Oh oh. Um, so since I had already started moving at a speed of one, uh -huh. uh, would I how you can close... either maintain that speed, um, or um, you would um, you you could you could increase that speed. Now that's an action. Uh, to accelerate. Yes. Um, it looks wait, like. Wait, it's... wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, no. No, 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 I'm sorry. That is a maneuver. I'm sorry, you're, you're, sorry. That is a maneuver. So, yes, you could, you could. So, uh, if I, speed. if I accelerate as one maneuver, then I take another maneuver to get anywhere on this map, basically? Well, no, no. So, you can go 20 feet. So, with the, with the speed of one, you can go 20, 20 feet. And that, that is your maneuver. Um, if you increase that speed, which you can, what you would end up doing is go 20, oops, quit that, 20, and then another 20. So you get to here as a maneuver. Which would be and... the range of that guy, right? Yeah, if you wanted to. So, so let me, okay, I'm sorry, just, just for clarification. You're, you're fine. He could, he could do, it, it's the same as if he... So he would have to take strain no matter what, right? If he wanted to do that. So it would no, be no, the no, same. No, 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 So, okay, so since he's on a speeder bike, yeah, his, his rules of movement become the movement of the speeder bike. Right. So uh, his maneuver is what, like a, it's a speed of one since we're on, we're not in space, so I'm, I'm using the, the, like a walking distance, so blast yep. distance. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Speed of one means he can go one range band, so right? From short to medium, whatever. Right. 
Um, if he increases that speed, he basically goes from one that he can then go to two because he's at one. one to two. He can right. Only so I get here. here. Or What's decreased by one? So what I'm saying though is, in order, in order, it's a maneuver for him to do that, right? So yeah. he'd have to do a maneuver to go to two, and then uh -huh. he could go twenty twenty, or he could do and this and that only really matters for the next turn if he stays on the bike, right? Because right. otherwise he could get the same distance by just doing two maneuvers, correct? Correct. Okay. He wants this way. He would have to take strain. He would have to take strain to to go the to do two to make one move and then a second move to to do that. Where it, right. it makes it's just more feasible to just increase your speed. Uh, the only problem there there's downsides to that for the fact that now you're going. You know, now you're 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 picking up speed, and you got to slow down or stop abruptly or right. something. But okay, I I think so. Okay, so no matter what, at the end of this turn, if he wants to go forty feet, he's taking too going strain. to have to taking two strain, no. right? No, if he if he increases his speed to two, he can go forty feet without taking strain. But you can't increase your speed and make a mo and move, right? That's two separate things, or is that the same no, thing? No, 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 no. That's the same thing. He's increasing his speed, oh. button, so that's going to allow his his movement to go from twenty to forty. Does that okay. make sense? So yeah, yeah, he's increasing his move is increase my speed, and okay, so well, which allows him to move too. Okay, to, allows him to move forty feet rather than twenty feet. Okay. So okay, that's so and that's and that's the benefit of uh, increasing the speed. Yeah. But like I said, there's the drawback then of, well, you got to stop. <laughs> okay. So Either you're going to do it abruptly, or you're going to slow down. So okay. So increasing speed automatically gives you the movement too. Okay. Yes. Got it. Yes. 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 Okay. Uh, well, so I'm I'm definitely going to take one maneuver to accelerate. Okay. Um, and then, uh, after unloading on these poor souls, well, not really poor souls, uh, beans, as he likes to call them, <laughs> <laughs> um, does he want to take on a boss and four minions by himself when they're at long range from him now? Um, I think he'll actually zoom over here. Uh, because then on his next turn, he can get to either of them at short range. Uh, but he can... Well, no. Um, he's going to do what Colt's going to do. He's going to accelerate and then zoom over to the to the red guy. Okay. Um, okay. Just go ahead and, and then you still have an action? Yeah, I'm going to shoot him. Okie dokie. Um... Let me, because of who he is, um, what is his, uh, so where's that, um, where's my dice pool, dice pool, okay, so you're in short range, yes? Oh, wait, uh. Other question. Uh, can yeah. you take maneuvers outside of your turn if you've already used two maneuvers? No. Okay. Unless it's like some kind of incidental, like uh, talking, or you have a talent that allows you to turn a maneuver into an incidental. Um, but once you take two, you can only take two and you're done. Okay. I was just wondering about sidestep, but uh, he's going to shoot. Instead of okay. trying to dodge um, Ah, nice. I was going to ask you to do that, actually. Okay, so so let me move you. Uh, and this is short, right? Yep, yep. Uh, hey. Now understand this is what is known as an adversary so the these guys are obviously they're the the boss so they have a little bit more of a there you go um 
What were you saying? <laughs> well, they, so there's that. Let me then pull up his sheet. <laughs> That's a lot of successes. That's a lot it's of damage. Point, you, don't get point, you don't get point blank. You're not at point blank. You're at short range. Yeah, point blank is short range. Oh, is it? Okay. So, yeah. so what are we looking at? 15. And then I have a threat or two threats to use. All right. And oops, where'd it go? Let's see what we can do with those two threats. Uh, are you keeping track of my threats? Or I am. No, no. About yeah, I, to use I those two threats. Uh, I, I meant my strain. Uh, I took. No, you, you, you gotta keep track strain. of your own strain. So. All right, I just did that. So, four out of twelve. And, and you took it for the last one, for this one, right? Well, not for this yep. one, because you didn't take strain on this one. Uh, I did because I accelerated and then moved, and then shot. No, you moved forty, which is since you accelerated, so that that was a move. And then you shot, and that's an action. So there's but no strain I... on this one. But th there was a strain on the previous one. Uh, so I'm still a little confused on that. So I understand that it's a maneuver to increase your speed. Right. So, so... You increase it. You're you're going twenty right now, and they don't stop. So they're the moment you set the speed to one, they will constantly go two. You're increasing your speed, so now your your movement at the end of your maneuver is now 40 instead of 20 because you increased the speed. Okay, so I, uh, I didn't take strain on this. You did not take strain on this one because you increased the speed. The problem is this bike is still going to move to next round. You have to move it to next round. Okay. Unless you decrease the speed on on as a maneuver next round, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Um. Then the, the bike's case... always now in motion. It, okay. It's it's not going to stop until it hits a wall, you know, or or something. Can I retroactively then uh, take in a maneuver because I thought I was already or no 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 I'll sidestep I'll sidestep. And take two strain to uh, sidestep to increase the difficulty of incoming ranged combat checks against me once. Okay, so the sidestep will act will will happen when they attack you. You can you can hold that talent for when they attack you. Then I'll hold that. On this action, you don't have to do that. Okay. See what I'm saying? You don't. Yeah. Because yeah. if I don't range attack you, then um, then I just wasted a maneuver. Right, so that's that's one of those things where, yes, it's it you, you can do that you can, you can do that in response to their attack rather than declare it ahead of time. Okay. So, yeah. So no. So save that thought for when they they shoot if and when they shoot. Um. So <laughs> again, we're looking at fifteen. Yeah, we're looking at fifteen. And we look at his cute little thing and blam, 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 blam. Insert blaster shots here. Oh, wait, you know what I did not do? I need to roll. I need to add a die. I didn't see his armor. So keep all that. I need to do this. So that takes away one of yours. Um, he has armor, so he gets a he adds a setback die uh, to the yeah. shot. So uh, I'll quit that. I keep on clicking on the wrong button. I hate it when I have like eighty thousand different screens up and I've got to flip through. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's set properly. Um, he takes the blast. Um, not very, very happy about it. Um, uh, and that is your turn, so we go. Uh, his turn is, um, he draws his weapon, pulls out a lightsaber, red blade. What the fuck? And, um, he closes the distance, 
taking strain. And he will swing. Uh, is he swinging at me or the bike? Uh, he is going. Trust me, I, I was thinking about taking out the uh, the vein, but uh, no, he is going for you. Uh, I think uh, I might be dead. <laughs> uh, no, I wouldn't go too far yet. Um, let's see. So we did that. Um, <laughs> Dark Squidward. <laughs> So we do that. How am I doing here? Okay, we're going to go uh, do that. And you, you flipped it right back. Okay. So. Uh, can I take a maneuver to do defensive stance? Uh, guarded, you would, that stand? you would have had to declare ahead of time. Okay. Um, and I would have probably not accepted it since you're driving. Yeah. <laughs> so, and I don't know why I don't have any, but that's okay. And so you flipped, I flipped, and here, here we go. Maybe. Okay. Why? Okay. Uh, so, nine. Uh, before your soak. Nine before. Uh, breach. You don't have any armor, right? No. So okay. he just takes nine wounds. Uh, what and plus minus whatever your soak. Um, may I? Yep. Uh, breach. May I real quick? So breach. Yep. Breach one. Um, penetrates ten soak. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. That's right. I was thinking yeah, armor. So he, he takes that nine. <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah so yeah, then you're taking nine. Thank you. Yeah, that's that's why I was worried about lightsabers. <laughs> I mean, so, there's obviously always a good reason to be wary of yeah. lightsabers. Okay. Um, and that is their turn or his turn. Uh, PCs are not there yet. These guys. Um, Taking a shoot with our boss is there. That's what uh you know what? Because I feel like doing that, we are going to try that. Um that's these guys. Well then I'll sidestep. <laughs> that you'll you'll get. Um So I'll take the measly two strain and yeah, upgrade it uh to yeah. Okay, so the upgrades there, and the upgrades also because of their shooting into, um, you're engaged, and uh, what is that? Medium. What's the distance on that? Yeah, medium. So that's. Uh, sidestep is a talent. Uh, uh sure. yeah. yeah. So okay. the side the sidestep talent. Um, just says once per round, you may perform a sidestep maneuver and suffer a number of strain to upgrade difficulty of all incoming ranged attacks. Yes, by an equal so, number for the next round. So yes, yeah, so so I took two strain because it's another maneuver and another strain on top of that because yeah. I need to suffer that strain in order to activate the talent. Got it. So is that long because it's past forty? No, no. Pretty short. So this is medium. Oh. So medium is up yep. to sixty feet in, around him. So it's against two red dice, right? Uh it, yeah. Let me make sure I got everything set here. Can I set. upgrade can I upgrade that, please? <laughs> I thought you already did once, right? Yeah, but for a talent. No. Can I upgrade it with the destiny point? I, th I thought you did. Okay, I'm I'm sorry. I thought you did. I thought you flipped a die and, um, okay, you have not yet. So, yes, you sure can. Uh, and then they're firing into melee. Yep, yep. 
Okay, so oh wow, so that's yeah, so that's three. Good lord. Okay, this could be bad. Um, okay, flip, flip. So that's, I got three upgrades. I got the talent. <laughs> I got shooting in the combat, and then your flip. So that's uh, the three upgrades on on your defense. They are going to do this to do that. And okay, so then we come over here. I'm scared. And we go blammo. Okay, Ooh. well, they don't hit anybody. But <laughs> um all right. So let me get through all this and we're all right, so everybody is now in play. Um the the advantage is going to be a blue die to whoever their NPC guy goes next. Uh, so sorry to be selfish again, but I would like to take the first VC slot to get the hell away from this guy. <laughs> that would be a smart maneuver. Now, mind you, your speeder speed bike two. is going two, so you have to move 40. Okay. Probably. So... Unless you take the maneuver to slow it down to one. Would he have to move in like that kind of range, or are you saying that he can like whip it, whip it and turn it and such? Well, yeah, I mean you can like you're you're driving it, so yeah, you could. You won't be able to. You won't be able to here. Um, you can't. You couldn't do something like this because it's moving pretty fast. I mean, it would have to. You would have to bank it, and you you know what I'm saying. Yep, you, you I couldn't do. do. You couldn't step on a dime. And that looks yeah. bad, so I'm going to get rid of it. You can't stop on a dime, but yes, you could turn. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, you're going, okay. You're going 40 miles an hour. Let's, mm -hmm. let's say. Hmm. So. At this point, I'm more worried about getting dropped by wounds than by strain right now. So sure. could I... Um, hmm. uh, and I will give you cover there because it looks like that's actually down a little bit. This right here? Um, actually, I take that back because I'm going to say they have the high ground, so they would be able to see you anyways. Um, they have the high ground. <laughs> Try get... Like around here. I mean, uh, this, the right here and right here, those are both on the same plane, right? And this is just recessed, which means that they yeah, so still this be able is on to the same me. plane. Th this is on the same plane, and this is on the same plane. This is down. This area is down uh, about five, about five feet or so. This there's uh -huh. a crop here. Um. So trying to get and for the for the big bad, uh, that's gonna be several maneuvers to get all the way over that there. So he's uh. Now, mind you, if you if you go if you do a double move or whatever, you gotta go eighty, not sixty, because you're moving Ooh. forty. So your base movement now is forty. Yeah, but since it's not a straight line, I could like go like that. Okay, correct. Correct. So, uh, metagame question: Do any of you have yeah. stim packs? Huh? Uh, are you asking me, or are you asking the other players? Uh, the other players. <laughs> Cody, you got stim pack? If the corgi was here, yes. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> um. So 
Ooh, yeah, so uh, he is going to... Hmm. I'm just wondering where the the safest place to be is, is obviously as far away as possible from the lightsaber-wielding maniac. Um, and... Huh. Yeah, exactly. Um, I can definitely get back to the group. Uh... Now, here's a thought. I'm just throwing this out there. I'm not telling you you need to do this. or, But another thought would be to... Uh, as your maneuver to decrease your speed down to one, and then you could take a double move. You know, you could take the strain to move again. To you're still essentially going forty feet, but you're slowing down to hit that forty feet. You know, what I'm saying rather than well, that's one maneuver. If you wanted to get back to the group, you could. I don't know. Maybe that's what you were saying before, but you could come here you know do the 40 then take the strain slow down take the no, he went, well uh yeah well yeah you, i guess you could do that uh on the second so take a 40 for your first maneuver so i think on your second I'm... maneuvers go to speed one to, to only go 20. right i think what i'm going to do is this and then like that and then uh maintain the same speed yeah i'm gonna maintain the speeds uh still double moving um okay. can i is it medium is it long to shoot the 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 other minions um okay, well it depends uh let's see this is medium so uh let me let me put it like this. So any forty feet anywhere anywhere in the circle. Uh ooh. Okay. Far in this is long. So to, if you were at this side of the circle, sixty feet is gonna be long. So anything less than sixty feet is medium. Okay, well then he'll that's be the way I'm playing he'll that. be so if you get to right here, you, that's gonna be long. But if you're here Oh, wait, and I can't spend on a dime though. Um, That's why so, you gotta go into the. Yeah, so he'll do that. Oh yeah, how are you? How are you doing that, by the way, with the hitting Q? Uh oh, okay. So every time I get to a point that I want to do, I just hit Q. Okay. Well then, uh, I think I know what I'm going to do. Uh, and this is with the snap to center, right? Yep. 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 Oops, not selecting my... There we go. That. Um, that. That. Like that. Like that. And then... Wait, now it disappeared. Yeah, um, hold it. Just hold it down once you get to your end point. Could I get... Here and then shoot the corn. Uh, sure. Um, oh, but I have to travel a max. I have to use up all eighty feet, right? Uh, if you're not going to slow down on one of the maneuvers, then yes, you have to move all eighty. And I will do something like that to get okay. around if this area. You, if you get around here, let's say you're here. Okay, and that's still within medium. Um, okay, yeah. so... Yeah, so, and that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I am, because of this joyous thing, right, this this lovely thing right here in the middle, um, I am going to have you uh, actually roll a vehicle, the, the planetary... Uh, Piloting. Um, 
Hold on, let me get things set. That's not that. It's steady. And that's there. Uh, well, if you're flipping a light side, then I'll flip, uh, I'll flip a light side. Okay. All right. Let me get rid of that. Um, and you are good to go on your roll whenever you're ready. Alrighty. Oh, God, yes. Okay, so you're able to think. Oh, and you got. I'll give you the uh, four advantages if you want to take. If you want to assign those advantages to yourself, you got to use two to get one boost, but you can give yourself two boost dice. I'll and give myself. You're able to, to pull this, you know, this biking maneuver to. Uh, to get into the perfect aim after you do all that. So uh, take your two strain for the second maneuver and then give yourself uh, that you said that was there. And okay. Uh, and since we use the upgrade dice that round for the piloting, I can't use it for the combat. Neither can I. Neither can you. Okay, so combat check. Uh, is dice pool set? Dice pool set. Okay. We got five. So we got um, definitely an instant kill. If you, if you use it for that's, the critical, I should say. That's 12 damage and then five advantages. Uh, so can I spend... I'll spend three on the crit. Okay. And then so that leaves you two left. I'll spend two to heal strain. Um, uh, or... sure, sure, sure. All right. Um. Okay. So what we got? We got twelve. Um. Minus that. Uh. So you take out. Um. Let me add another one. Take out one with the crit, and you take out another one with the blast. So you basically kill two people. Uh, how do I erase? If you go to select, if you get the select tool, and then you click on it, and then you can just hit delete on your keyboard. I got it. Okay. Okay. Um... And the bike is over there as well. <laughs> yep. Oh, oh well. Oh, I hear. Yeah, I got it. All right. So he's he's taking down some troops. Yep. All right. So these guys, these blaster guys, are going to go next. They they want their prey. Um. They are going to. Well, they're minions. So they're not going to double end, but they are going to aim. If I can get my dust pool thing going here, so can I up can I upgrade again? I know I'm like hogging. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right now. <laughs> uh, it's just you wanted yeah, to get out the two. I'm going to flip right back, so it doesn't matter. So uh, okay. go ahead and there, there we go. That's there. That's there. It's like the Escalate house rule games. <laughs> Just and... everyone flip. There we go. They miss. Ooh, yeah. All right. So they miss, but I got to give... Uh, they're going to use a three advantage. Um, they shoot over <laughs> you, but they, they hit the turbo lift as they're coming out so they're going to um, let's see what can I what kind of setback can I give let me take a look at that um, make it hard to open without mechanics or something I don't know uh, actually I'm going to take that back <laughs> okay so they shoot at you they, they miss you but they're going to knock you they're going to knock you off the bike. And that's going to leave you prone. And so, based on you, where the 
the bike was going with that last direction, would that mean that it's going to go like it's, way it's, up it's, there? Yeah, uh, sure. If that's the way it was traveling, but regardless, yeah, it's going to keep going. It 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 will be falling off the rooftop next round. Unless someone grabs it. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'm going to say it knocks you off, and I don't want to have to figure out how much strain or stress that you're going to take from that. So I'm going to be understand I'm being nice when I say this, that I'm not going to say you take any damage from falling the bike, but that you are prone. Yeah. Um, so, so I'm going to put you there and we'll, so yeah, just understand that, uh, uh bike is in motion. Bike's in motion, but and not only that, that you're, you're prone and you sh probably should take damage from falling off a moving bike. Um, I just don't want to do that to you. So, um, so that's their action and PC number two. One of you guys can take it. Okay, we can. So, yeah. uh, let me see. Uh, did you move the initiative slot? Oh, 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 no, I see it. Sorry. Um, so I'm going to move, and let me see here. Um, okay, so I'm going to... So 20 feet is a, is the way I'm playing, because yeah. this map's not to scale, 20 feet is a Please. standard, is one move. Okay, so that's one move, okay. right? And right. I'm going to um, uh, fire with my my blaster. Let's see, where are you? Here. And that's medium? Yep. Oh, oops. Move too much. There we go. Um, uh, let me get your dice pool. Medium stat, get rid of all this other crap. Uh, Let's you know see what? here. Gonna, I'm, I'm going flipping. to... Oh, you are? Yep. Okay. Dang. That's right. <laughs> all right, so we got 10. Yep. And that drops another one. Uh, the threat, I'm going to be lazy and just have you take a strain. Let's see here. I'm moving category flow. Strain. Okay. Change Next. This. Next. Hold on. Yep, yep. I just got to click that. Okay. Uh, and flip. Either Dax or... Go ahead, Cody. Cody? You there? Yeah, he... he, he oh, yeah, oh, yeah, my, my oh, uh, shoot, microphone sorry. was uh, turned off, so... Uh, yeah, would I have seen that uh, he was hurt? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm just, that's that's. There's just, no doubt about that. Yeah, I'm just going to sprint over and. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to sprint over and heal him. Okay. You got a stim pack or something? Oh yeah, I've got I got five of them. Okay. So, um, yeah, you draw it out and stab him. Uh, heal five wounds. Thank you very much. <laughs> and then Dex. Okay. I am going to. Those guys are that way. Or yeah. Anyways, he hasn't gone Those... yet. I won't. I, so I don't know how I skipped him, but somehow I did. But that's okay. Those guys are over there. I might go. Th I. I think I'm gonna go this way. Try and get a. 
I know that it would be two, but I might try to go this way to try and get a uh, a tactical advantage on on old red over here. Okay. So yeah, Thank that's you. what I'm gonna do. Yeah. I I'm actually gonna take two strain. Okay. To do it too. Okay. And then are we firing upon? Old red, and I'm going. To, he's going to go next. I, I must have skipped him in the flipping of pools because he has not gone yet, and he should have gone. Oh, uh, do you want? So, to, he um, can go first. You can go before. It, it, okay, well, if that's the case, then it doesn't he matter. Is it's a, actually you going to be Mister Force Guy. Uh, oh no! And he jumps into the open area, so he's force jumping down. All the way down. Oh. Or at least down to an, another area because you look at the, it actually shifts a little bit. But yes, he he's able yeah. to get to uh, another location. So basically, he he runs away. Well, shit. Because you know, big bad evil bosses are supposed to do that, especially when they see that they're losing their minions and they don't care about them all that much. So. Yeah, he de he turns off his lightsaber and jumps down into that hole. And so now, yeah, now it's up to you. Uh, if you need to move after learning that, that's fine. We can, um, you can move elsewhere. Me? Yeah. Uh... There's, no, there's no longer a reason for you to go this way. So I mean, okay, I'll go where I was. Really okay. gonna go over here. Okay. It's a little yeah. unsteady, but I'm gonna let you. I'll let you walk through it. I mean, I can um, follow them too. It doesn't matter. No, no, no. You're fine. You're fine. Uh, okay. So. I'm just saying that you're. you're I just wanna. Just, I wanna do a little. I don't think I've. I don't think I've fought yet. You know what I mean? In, in right. like any right. of the days. Is sure. I've always gone last. So <laughs> everyone's already dead. <laughs> okay. So uh, get this kill. I just wanna get, this get it. <laughs> I just want to make sure I know how to do it. Okay, so I I can go to my weapon, right? And uh -huh. range is set to medium, skill range yep, so light. Yeah. Yep. So make sure I get my dice pool. Okay, my dice pool is set. And um, since this is your first attack, I'm not going to use dark side point, but you can use a light side point to do an upgrade. Do it. Yeah, we have plenty of them. Okay. Yep. Yep. So okay, so I'm now make sure you have that one in the upgrade in your dice pool. Okay. And it's on the yep. blue. Green. Okay, just making sure it's over there, not on the other side. And okay. my dice are set. And then you, on the weapon, ha oh, ha. Oh. So oh. you're going to get the instant kill, but I'll you can make it dramatic, make it something spectacular since you got the triumph. Okay, so. You can see that he is he is starting to get a little nervous and I uh I I kind of wanted to pump <laughs> actually I can use the threat and the light side at the same time. I kind of wanted to pump him for information so I wanted to scare him. So I blasted next to him, but he like lost his footing and topples over the side head first. Boom. Dead. Head first. So yeah, uh <laughs> And he does the Wilhelm. Ah. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Yeah. <laughs> no. No. Bye. So, yeah. So he is. Yeah. So he's dead. Um, that will take us out of combat. Uh, um. Poor, poor speeder bike. He joins. Uh, the speeder bike joins. No, he falls off the roof and then the speeder bike lands on him. Lands on top. Yeah, so it's yes. like a wild e coyote. He's like, I, I'm okay. Bam! Yeah, <laughs> a, a little and mushroom cloud. <laughs> and it explodes. <laughs> and he has the umbrella. He's like, yeah, yay! So. <laughs> okay. Um, so that takes us there. And, um, so I'm going to say the bad guy gets away. Uh, so 
since we're reaching the nine o'clock, this is uh, coming up on three hours. Mm -hmm. So I was just going to hand wave it from here. You guys, you guys uh, thwarted the the big explosion type thing. Um, you're able to decipher that hey, these Mon Calamari were going to attack the Capitol building, and um, you were able to stop it. And, uh, you know, and, and you were able to implicate the councilman, uh, uh, Dorbigny, uh, because of the manifest. You see that the, 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 the blue shadow virus grenades were sent to him in his name. Uh, he tries to deny it, but, um, you know, you, there's overwhelming evidence and all that sort of stuff. So, uh, so cool. Can I barter uh, for us to get a reward? Uh, that will be up to the real GM to decide if there's a reward. I, I am not promising that because I, there was no intention. I didn't want to start with any, you guys to start with anything other than what you have right now. Um, what did you have in mind? So. Yeah, just roll a check on them, see if we can get some credits for our hard work. <clears throat> I think... <clears throat> And the entire party ends up with um, 500 credits. Not in total, but each one is filled back up to 500 credits. So oh. each, person, each person gets 500 credits? And yes. I will share yep. mine with but my crew. All, uh, all <laughs> of the... 500? Yeah, so oh. whatever, you, whatever you have right now, you end up with 500 credits. And uh, I'm, I'm going to put that directly into sessions, right? Yeah. So I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I keep just a hundred for myself, and I split the other four hundred four ways. Just make a men just make ah. a men just make a mental note of it because um, I've built I'm I'm building the entire campaign in uh, um, so as it was nice enough to allow me to use his you know pro profile and so i'm building everything in in like everything in oh uh in here so yeah all right don't, so i got 600 credits okay so don't worry about rpg sessions just make a note of it and i'm gonna open up the um i'm gonna open up the 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 um the game that the I've roll 20. Yep. yeah the roll twenty game that I'm building uh, I'm gonna um, open it up to to all you guys so that you can you know upload your character your characters have been uploaded already um, it's just we're gonna you know you can update them okay cool will that work for everyone yeah cool yeah good to me. yeah and that's cool on reward I was not expecting uh, that I mean that was not my intention. Um, so, no, there's a, there's a reason for it. There's a reason okay. for it. Thank thank you for doing that. This is all you know. Basically, what I'm trying to say, because uh, again, my intent was just to run something. Yep. Uh, and I hope oh. everyone had fun. I hope yeah, everyone. That was super fun. Hell yeah! <laughs> you know, the only issue, Aspiria, is you weren't here, so you don't get any. Credits. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, well kidding. I mean, yeah. like I said. <laughs> How freaking mean would that be? <laughs> and, and to be honest, and to be honest, given my character, if she didn't get anything, she wouldn't complain. No, no, no. I mean, uh, yeah, that was <laughs> just me being a, a jerk. Even <laughs> here, sex for you to be GMing there, big guy. Also, <laughs> thank you for spending all of this time on a practice game for us. But uh, <laughs> no, yeah, kidding. you're not going to reap the rewards. <laughs> you tried to kill us. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, that was super fun though. Yeah, um, I'm glad you guys liked it. I. Like I said, I know I'm I'm not the perfect GM. Uh, there are times when I make mistakes, um, and I I am I'm okay with side with like backseat GMing sometimes. Um, but sometimes you know if I if I say hey no, this is the way it's going to be, then that's okay. So um, so uh, Marty, thank you. Uh, I appreciate the the uh, correction. I 
hopefully I, what I what I have to do is learn from it and that's why I'm always asking what can I do to improve so if there's anything was there anything I could do to to have improved all this is there something I could have done that hey you know I wish we could have done this or whatever I mean I, I'm open to feedback um, what, what was the correction that I made I'm trying to remember uh it was something with oh the breach because I, I was oh yes I, so yeah so I appreciate that that's um, you know, I try to learn from my mistakes and, and, and it, be well, it's, it, it helps having to have entered like 800, you know, NPCs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. But, and, yeah. Guys, if there's anything I could have done to make things better or whatever, I am open. Um, okay. yeah, so. Sure. Well, yeah, I just appreciate you doing that. That was super fun. It was definitely uh, a good a good intro too. I, I like your tables also; those are nice, so that you can, you know, you don't really even have to. Is there one for everything? You know, no, what I, mean? it's, it's only, I only grab the ones so, that are in the source books. So okay, um, there there are other charts, but these are the ones that are the most common. Um, there are yeah. some other ones, like if, when you fly into a nebula. I'm like, okay, I'm not doing that anytime soon. Uh, wilderness yeah. combat, urban combat, uh, uh, confined spaces. Th- there's other charts. Um, and I think if you if you actually go into Discord in the rules and and scroll up on the on that rules channel, th- those same charts are posted there. But there's actually I think I have more of them posted on the rules channel. Okay, cool. Yeah, I was just wondering. I mean, I uh, it's nice for like whenever you have to do some. Thing like in like a combat or something or not maybe not a yeah I guess even like a combat or something like that but I don't want to get too bogged down in those because it kind of takes away from the role playing portion of it you know if it's sure. just like well you could do this or you could do this I right. I might not like try and branch out and think of something myself you know but yeah but. and and I'm always see the way I see it when it comes to those kind of things think of it as you're in a movie and right yeah now you have something where if you get three advantages for example that's where you can really you can add something in a positive manner that moves the movie the the story forward um right to give you an idea um in another campaign that i was doing they landed on this jungle planet they were they knew they were supposed to hike deep into the heart of the jungle and they're dealing with humidity temperatures they're taking strain from the heat someone rolled something like they were trying okay well where we're going to go they failed the pathfinding check but they got three advantages so i said you know what as you're getting ready to leave hey you find the cargo uh, skip so now you guys don't have to hike you guys can actually ride in the cargo ship you know and oh yeah nice uh, so that was that's one of those things where i talk about hey you know, that's three you know they had to get the mechanics to actually to get it to run because it was beat it was beat up and run down it was you know abandoned but they were able to fix it up and go so yeah so things like that that's what you can really do with advantages or <laughs> the the vice versa of that the uh yeah. threats that can work work against you sometimes i'm guessing awesome. that the 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 snazzy um uh, four seater uh uh, what was, uh, speeder. It's not, not your young man. Just be <laughs> thankful I didn't arrest you. <laughs> yeah, but the guy that the guy that does own it got arrested. So correct. <laughs> I guess we could, <laughs> po- police auction. Uh, it's a it's a governmental owned vehicle, so it'll go to oh. the next councilman that they hire, that they fill. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's a broken down. Uh, well, it's been hot wired. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, bet, I bet there's a. I'm pulling cl- my spot, man. There's yeah. like a closing scene when we're heading away from the police station, and there's one like lowly mechanic who's like working on the car and getting ready to pull it, and he's like, wait a minute. You yeah. apprehended this? And he kind of like raises a hand, but we're already walking away, and he's like, <laughs> yeah, you guys are like, yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> there, if, that uh, in the on the map before this, there was that one mechanic just in there, working in the <laughs> yep. uh, the speeder garage. <laughs> <laughs> and, and All right, the, guys, I gotta run. I gotta take my dog uh, out. 
But thank All you right. again. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys. So, Marty, this Sunday or two Sundays from now? This Sunday. This Sunday? Okay, 4 o'clock. I'll be there. All right, bye, guys. See you then. See ya.